14 inch shell. <laughs> yes, I, I can only take one 14 inch shell, so I have no, no hit points. No, you won't survive a 14 inch shell. I didn't say, I, I, I didn't mean take it, like, I meant, you know, it'll only take one to kill me. We all have one hit point, boys. It's unfortunate. But use that point well. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> oh, I did bury the coal. It's in here somewhere, isn't it? Fuck. Wait, can you bury coal and get diamonds? <laughs> no, what I mean by that is, um, I mined, I have like a coal deposit at my base. I'm rolling coal. And I mined it and I built a deck around my house. I'm pretty sure the coal deposit is under the deck. Okay. Oh, I just got achievements. Beginning of the legend. Oh, wait, wait. There go. So I guess achievements are now working. Uh, Hillside Sovereign, defeated Zoe and Griswold. Me a pal tamer, caught 20 pals. Newbie pal tamer, caught 10 pals. Beginning of the legend, caught my first pal. Oh, okay, that's cool. There's four more hidden achievements 50 pals and 90 pals of the next goals. I hate secret achievements. Oh shit. I want to know what I'm supposed to be going up for. <sighs> Hiccups. Yeah, I got a catcher's hair at some point. Ah, Sarah would be mad. Ah, oh, damn it. God damn it. My shit got attacked. Oh, like when we're offline or something? No, like, um. Like, I had a random fucking, what do you call him? I forget. Some stupid fucking wild creature came to me. Oh. And, uh, and attacked, and, and, well, it attacked me, but it attacked, uh, it had used an area of effect attack, and it attacked a bunch of my shit. A couple of my daydreams got fucked up. Oh, okay. Where's my stash of, uh... Alright, I'll just ignore that. But they are definitely missing. Let's see them here for now. Oh, so when I was fixing my base yesterday, I hit level 21, so I can now make a musket if I want. Nice. I just skipped the musket entirely and built a hangar. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that. But I did unlock it just in case. Yeah, for funsies. It could be really fun. Or it could be really shit. I still wish there was a way to fast drop items. Like just click drop, click drop, click drop would be nice. Yo, where are you at, Frost King? Eh, I don't really care about the fairies all that much. It means all my milk went bad, so that's cool. Didn't know that could happen while you're offline. Well, yeah, the food is constantly, like, ticking down. Yeah, yeah, but I had my Frost King boy on it, my Pen King on it. So I figured he would have, you know, even offline, kept it cold. Little prick. Big giant prick. Man. Was he assigned to the cooling? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But now know. he's fucking watering my goddamn bushes like an asshole. Come here, you fucking crown wearing asshole. Mm. You are gonna get assigned over here. Oh, they even made a new throwing. Uh, you are fucked. Thing. Assigned to the cool box. Cool. I don't know if that worked though, because now he's jogging off to go get food. <laughs> You are you not a just toy. A toy. <laughs> I need to kill some bosses. What's the one that you were uh, farming, and how do you farm them properly? Like, 
Is there a respawn timer? Only the hour. Yeah. Okay, so you did one of those. That one's. Is that the pen well, thing you were doing, or a different one? The one one's that's down by thing. where I spawned. Uh, the sweeper. The sweep is really easy. It gives you four. It gives you like six uh, ancient civilization doohickeys. Try to pop over there. Because I don't think I discovered it yet. Let me repair my armor. When do you learn the uh, drug to restart your stats? What level is that? I'm assuming it has to do with a pal, and that's why I don't see it. <laughs> you can get landmines? Alright, cool. <laughs> I want that. What's up, boys? Love missing completely. <laughs> What's his server? Is he three? So on your island, Pat, what is it close to? The small cove? Um, hang on. Let me just like yeah. figure my shit out. Uh, Sweeper is uh, south of Small Cove, so um, okay, so I'm almost there then. You just go literally like along the beach, and there's like a, a avenue that cuts in. Yeah. Just look on your map, and it will appear by I the see. time you get close to it. Yeah. yeah. I just don't see the boss itself. That's why I was. You, you get you need to get close to it. It's like really weird that one. It doesn't spawn until you're basically inside of it. <laughs> just so, you know. really fuck with you. Have fun with that mental image, I guess. At what level do you unlock the cake recipe? I already have it. I think you have to catch Oh, yeah, there it is. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, eggs, milk, mm -hmm. and flour. I don't have a uh, milkable creature. Uh, you can find them near my base if you go north. Um, so, north that red area by the uh, ancient ruins. 
or ancient ritual site. There's some cows. There be cows in their hills. <laughs> there be cows. Yeah, fucking one tap, losers. Is that rude? Do you think? No. <laughs> Cow team so. is hungry, so eat. You dinguses. You fucking didgeridoo. Wait, let me see something. If I hop off, will you eat? Yeah, okay. It ate. I can't believe it took like six hours to fix my base yesterday after they all fucking got that uh, login sickness. Taking that rock. The FG is nice. Well, not the FG, uh, flying owls are nice. If you see something, you can grab it. Alright. You trying I've to get a to bed? Cause... One. Oh, I could go to bed. Yeah, I'll go to bed. I'm not oh, near the bed, bed yet, but I was just letting you know. Shit, I'll go to bed. Alright, so give me like two minutes to get back to base. I just gotta fly over to the. the... I don't even have a flying pal. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I'm stuck on a tree. I honestly don't know. I think it's nice. Like I, I grabbed that first one, the Nightwing, and just put a saddle on him. It's been pretty easy to get around now. For a second there. <laughs> Home is where you hang your hat. I don't have hat. Shit. <laughs> Look at this fucking heterosexual. Straight on here on. Getting gay, don't idiot. Where the fuck's my bed? That's what they all say. Ah, oh, when I broke the base yesterday, I must have forgot to put my bedroom on. Alright, I'm just gonna fill the bed real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm listening to uh, Will Smith's daughter's music. Oh, uh, Willow. Yeah. I feel sorry for you. Why? It depends. Some of her it's songs like are really good. good. Some yeah, of it's I was gonna say, a lot of it's good. 
I don't know, maybe nowadays. It's I like, just remember it, her and her brother talking about pyramids back in the day and the power and all that weird shit. So I was like, you know, I stopped paying attention to her after that. I was like, gosh, she's a fucking crazy one. She makes, uh, like, I even more go. A series on the server, too. Cortana, lay down. She's not even, she's muted and shit, so, yeah. Alright, never mind then. No sleep. <sighs> no. Sleep. There you go. <sighs> Wait, you can type in chat? How do you do that? Oh, I figured it out. Yeah, okay. Like every game. Are you EP? <laughs> Alright, let me build my real bed. Yeah, I guess that's the one thing I didn't realize fell off was my fucking hole back into my house. I wonder, could I do foundations? might have fixed all my problems earlier. Okay, cool. I just need to chop down that tree. I think I can make my bridge I was trying to make yesterday. Ooh. That's some lag. Was it me? I uh, don't know. Was it you? I uh. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. Hey, what does that do with this video game? He's just a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> That's right, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Come here, Greg. Sir Greggles. No, I threw you at the watering. Here we go. Oh, wait, no.
Oh, so I went to take an egg out of the incubator yesterday after it was done incubating, and I accidentally uh, just right-clicked it, like, opened up the incubator, right-clicked it. You're was like, stupid. Yeah, I was like, I'm so fucking dumb. <laughs> it shouldn't have even gave me the option to do that. Oh, I got two it's kind, of like, it's kind of, uh... Come on, Plan Steve. Up. Yeah, I just hit level 22. Stamina, health. Yeah. Definitely gonna have to reset my player at some point. Why? Because I put too many points of attack like a moron. I shouldn't have put any into attack. I don't need with someone to attack. Yeah, but my pals do all the attacking. I kind of sit there and maybe shoot a crossbow. Like, I'm not trying super hard. I want my attack to stay low so that I can uh, hurt things without one-tapping them. Where the fuck did the back of my base go? <laughs> God damn. I will say the one bad thing about having one of your pals that just hovers around, you know, you can have other pals out, but the one will hover with the necklace. Yeah. I hate that they get in the way of construction projects. I'm trying to build something and they just happen to be near it and it's considered that they're in the way. Pretty sure Sierra just like straight up stopped, uh, she got rid of the stuff because of that, right? Yeah, I think I was going to start doing that too. Come on, Eglair, you're gonna go lay eggs. Comedy over. No, holiday over. Holiday over! <laughs> Structures outside the base will deteriorate. Some someone may dismantle such structures, and pals will not work in or on them. That's fine. It ain't for them. It's for me. But that does tell me I shouldn't build boxes there. Just here. All right. Fort Kickass is complete. Oh, so I had a dream that I was uh, training troops again. That was a fucked up dream. Get better dreams, Jesus. But I feel like there was like an alien invasion or something, so I was like telling them how to occupy their world and then, you know, run patrols and shit. Because I think we were winning. There's like some real Battle of LA feeling shit. <laughs> Yeah, I was back in uniform, and that was the weirdest part of the dream for me. I, I had, like, a visceral, like, ew. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what 
they all always, always seem to be the key at the same time. Weirdos. All those berries. I don't like V. Help! You fuck face. Get over there. They already eat all that toast I've made. You know how hard it is to make that fucking toast, you shitheads. I'm just giving you guys bread from now on. You know what? You know what? Just berries. You don't even need bread. Half the time it doesn't even help with attack, so I think I am gonna get rid of it. Kick it back. Incubate some fucking mm. eggs. What? Incubate these nuts. <laughs> Incubate these werewolves. Mm. The werewolves? Werewolves. You know, no, we the werewolves. The werewolves. Incubate the werewolves. Werewolves. What? <laughs> I feel like it might be a racist Wayward. thing. I don't know. Like Wayward. a. Incubation complete. Like a, what the hell? Like a China thing or something? I, I put the egg in and it instantly finished incubating. I'll take that. Nice. Alright. Got a grin tail off of it. And incubation complete. Instantly. Did y'all change the timing on that or something? Just got a Malpaca. Or Malpaca. You know what? Not gonna argue with it, just gonna take it and be like, Oh, look at me, I'm so good at incubating eggs.
gotta be in one of these. Fuck it. So strong. Oh wait. Oh, I gotta put the hot tubs back. I knew I forgot something yesterday. That's why I've been feeling weird about it. I gotta go find the trader again. And the black market. Gotta go sell off some human pals. Pat, you want any human pals? Plasma tornado is literally the most useless uh, attack. Plasma tornado? Or does it just like, yeah. not even do anything except push back I or something? It doesn't fucking work. <laughs> you press it, it's meant to automatically attack enemies around you, it just shoots to the north. 
<laughs> every time. It just goes yeah. north. That's funny. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's it's something. <laughs> Hey, that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh wait, actually, I need to drop off this stone. Right. So. Oh. I might just start catching more of those uh, combats. Have combats been really good. Most of the work, yeah. <laughs> like, well, because they uh, they don't go to sleep. Oh, that too. Get some combats and some daydreams because they don't sleep. The nocturnal stuff doesn't sleep. I don't think. Yeah, they don't. And I also need uh, just a couple of my little uh, crystals to work the fields and a couple of water types. That'd be good. I had four on my base, more than just the one, and heavy. Too. Can you, are you looking forward to seeing some jerk walking down the street with a giant set of goggles on their face? What? What? Apple Vision. Uh oh. Oh no. Not in public. Oh, you know <laughs> it'll happen. You know they will. <laughs> You'd have to, like, remind us of the fact, though, you know? I'm... Yeah, but think of how much fun you could have if you mounted a high-intensity IR blaster to your hat. Oh Look, no. <laughs> fun, fun, fun is it? Just burn out his fucking shit. Yeah, just watching some guy walking along with Apple Vision just suddenly goes fucking blind, walks out in the traffic. Look, or a telephone damn, pole, you know, dude. depending on how violent you want their demise to be. Why are you so mean? <laughs> to each their own, and everybody has the right to choose what makes them happy. I'm just saying they should leave it at home. I still have off their I, face. I'm doing this. I'm saying this 100 percent. Two reasons. One, I hate Apple. That's but yeah, besides that, I just, I just need to see that moment when people realize they look like a bigger dork than the people who wore Google Glass. Wait, Google Glass was real? Like I never thought they actually came out with something. I that thought was it was funny. always talk. 
Did it work well? And there's a reason why no one uses it now. I wasn't. I think it was just that it was time. It uh, wasn't as good as it should have been. But honestly, one of the oft pointed out problems with Google Glass is that when you were using it, you looked like a dick. <laughs> because the screen was physically mounted off to the side, right? So every time you had to look at it, you're looking off to the side. So you imagine looking people. at someone in the face, and then they look at you, and then they suddenly, like, imagine if they're looking at the top right corner of their glasses. Oh, yeah, so it just looks like you beat it. Makes you look goofy. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a doof. Like a segue for your face. <laughs> yeah, like a segue for your face is a great way to describe it. Is uh, Cortana still on the server? If she is, she's muted in TeamSpeak, so you're not going to be able to communicate with her anyway. Uh, should we just restart the server and not tell her and it'll kick her? <laughs> she's probably playing right now. She's probably just not saying anything. Oh, fuck her. <laughs> uh. Oh. Oh. There, I a, I I'm nowhere near my bed anyway, so I'm not going to sleep even if you will gone. I'm just annoying her because it's fun. <laughs> Respect my pastimes. <laughs> Res respectfully, I'm annoying you. <laughs> you do, I don't like Bozo Sex response. What if Vine cost $30? Fucking <laughs> Yes. Yep. Aw, oh, my little buddy sleeps in his pasture. That's cute. Good job, cow man. <laughs> you like that? Finally, finally, an appropriate use of that. Pat, I, I put a meme you should you would probably like in 3D's server. That is entirely possible. I might like it. I'm currently fighting a large uh, green elephant. It's a moss mammoth. Can't pause on my games, Mom. <laughs> when will you understand? You know, it's really funny to think that uh, millennial parents will actually understand you can't pause games. Yeah, like it's going to help anything. Oh, no. They're, they're still, still going to tell you to fucking do the dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they'll understand that, all right, I can wait five minutes. You know, as long as it happens. Maybe. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot all that wool I was just sitting on. Should probably sell most of it. Ah, oh, shit. I'm about to eat shit. Don't Man. eat shit, it's bad for you. I didn't eat shit, I was fine. What is this poke about? Uh, I was just wondering if you were actually in the server or you just like logged in and not Donald doing anything. Glover confirmed the community movie script is done. Yeah, I'm okay. in my bed at my mining base while I eat. Oh, then we could have slept. Damn. All right. I'm, I'm, again, I'm no way in I know. my bed. I know, but I'm just saying, we could have. Because earlier both of us laid down, but you apparently weren't laying down. <laughs> Oh wait, are these the uh, fluffy ones I'm looking for? These are... No wait, no, you guys are crimises. How do you make the fluffy bed? <laughs> it's something about beating down a, a fucking... a Mamoris with like oh. my, my pal, and then just pulling out the blicky for the last shot and just... <laughs> <laughs> did him in with the Finish Glock, him. you know? <laughs> This fucking elephant size, you know, a, a mammoth sized creature, but you know, you see one more hit. With the block. Oh, wrong way.
you come here, sir? You killed the sweeper, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's back. What the fuck? You might have a fast respawn because it's not inside the dungeon. <laughs> Oh, did you hear Pete is mad at the game? Because it exists. I mean, They're mad at digital animals getting eaten. I mean, news at 10. <laughs> You're giving them the attention they want. I'm just saying it was funny. That was all. Contrary to public belief, there's actually nothing funny about it. Them being losers. You didn't see that coming. Oh shit. What is with this mammoth and like resisting all my fucking balls? Do you have higher tier balls? I got the giga ones. Yeah. Apparently they're giga not balls. Slowly do this. Love Giga Balls. Yes. I love balls. balls in and around my mouth. Oh yeah. Real men would be afraid to say something like that. <laughs> I said we got this superior being. I think I'm starting to beat my hay fever. Like, is that a thing? What, having hay fever? Well, I just, like, haven't taken any antihistamines for, like, a month. Yeah, I mean, eventually I mean, the body you will compensate. The, have you checked the pollen count? It's summertime in New Zealand. The pollen's met. Uh, in the worst part of the country, they have pollen. Yeah, I mean, eventually your body's gotta get used to it or you'll die. No. Hey, I got it. I caught a mammoth. Nice. Level 35 and I'm level 22. Like, the worst my symptoms are getting now, instead of being crippled with swollen eyes and fucking runny nose and all that shit, is my nose gets a little bit itchy. I mean, yeah. you should, you should check the, the uh, You should check the pollen counts because oh, yeah, the pollen it, it might not be. And mm. it might not be one. It might be like a handful. Was that text to Japanese? Too. So it could be like. You're really fine about ice cream, but yeah. not about ground. Pollen forecast is high. Yeah, so I guess it describe the type. Uh trees, macrocarpa, native po podocarps, olive, pahutakawa, rata trees. Ooh, that's Grasses, brown top, crested dog tail, dog's tail, rye grass, tall mm -hmm. fescue, timothy. I mean, the only real way to know this stuff is if you like 
actually check on days where what? you have really bad stuff to go to the site. I mean, true, but that's pretty much like I'll most say of the trees. it sounds like you're getting over it. What? You've gotten stronger. Good job. <laughs> I've built resilience. I mean, uh, to be fair, it's been a month. I doubt I'm gonna like become a fucking superhuman oh, yeah. in a month. So, it's still. I put far more credence into what C2 is saying than me going, yes, I've achieved greatness. <laughs> I beat the immune system. <laughs> <laughs> Immune that bitch. <laughs> Immune this. All right, let me see. Can I put my Steve uh, produced tin flour? Steve. Thanks, Mad. Steve. <laughs> he's a good. He's a good dinosaur man. I love Relaxosauruses. I, I like how chill they are. Like they're not chill when they're out in the wild, but once they're in your base, they're pretty chill. Damn it. Contact. When I was paying attention. Relatable. All right. All right, monkey man, you gotta go back into the box. Uh oh, you made a fucky lucky. Time to get in the forever box. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I had the conversation with my uh, with my housemate today. I said. If we uh, if we don't find a place by the time I go home, I'm staying home. You say, I'm moving with my boyfriend. Well, so he fucking he uh, it was a bit of a drama yesterday because he he's he's in the process of being divorced. Oh, uh, one of those. Uh, guys. Like like, well, he's he's fucking he's in the army. What do you think, Scott? Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's he's literally he's stereotype. He's um, me. <laughs> Well, he's literally that's, me. That's a, that's a bit that's a bit rough to him, so I'm not gonna say that. Um, he's uh, he's alright. Okay, so what she was she sounds drama? like a real fucking psychopath. So uh, his wife or his well, I mean, he's separated. He's been separated for quite a while, but well, I mean, she's horrible too. No, uh, she <laughs> she sounds like a psychopath. Yeah, you still didn't explain what she the ex. Okay, <laughs> there we go. That's us trying to learn. Um, <laughs> but, uh, fuck. So he's uh, sold his house. Oh, damn. Because, of course, you know, the house that she wasn't working. Yeah, I understand it's divorced and stuff like that, whatever, but, like, fuck. You gotta feel for the guy. She wasn't yeah, like, working the entire time they were together. Yeah, not this horrible. specific situation. I had to sell the house. Had to, but and she's, you know, obviously as as marriages are apt to do, he, she gets half of it, despite having contributed nothing to the household. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Yeah. And uh, he's getting 50-50 custody, but you know, due to just how that works, uh, he still has to pay child support. The fuck. Despite, you know, I mean, like, I get why, I just fucking... No, I, I get I've it, seen... but it's like, what the fuck, she's not working. I I see, like, I just, in early childhood too, I saw this happen all the fucking time. Like, the dad is the good parent, and still getting fucked. Yep. <laughs> and it was, it frustrated the shit out of me. There's this one kid who had, like, really bad behavior problems. The mother did not give a fuck, she didn't want to hear a bar of it, and the parents were splitting up. This kid was a danger, right? Like, 100% dangerous to other children and to himself and to family members. And, uh, yeah, she just did not give a fuck. Watch me lift didn't the mammoth. Yeah. Dad's out here doing everything he fucking can to try and help. Like... Yeah, just don't become biased against women or something weird from these oh, experiences. Oh god, no, I, 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 fuck, I mean, other than my, uh, sarcastic sexism occasionally. Oh, I know. It doesn't, doesn't really go beyond that, but... Well, that's what I'm saying. There's some dudes that see this stuff and they're like, I'm never getting married and blah, oh, blah, blah, dude, blah. no, I, oh, fuck, I ain't fucking like that. They get fucking but... weird. There you go, I fixed you. You fixed me. My, uh, fucking mammoth is moonwalking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to pick him you up. You love that I'm walking kings. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there running like 30 miles an hour, but not really moving very much. 
Alright, uh, there's that, there's that. Any more balls? Hmm? Give me my balls. What balls? Where are my balls somewhere? <laughs> ah, that show's too fucking good. I like the new voice actor for Rick and Morty. There's two now. So they can actually, you know, talk at the same time somewhat. And they have human like interactions. Oh, yeah, like they actually uh, sound like two different people. <laughs> but they still sound the same as their original characters to me. Like, I didn't notice it. Then in Solar Opposites. As, uh, well, you know, as, they as the meme says, you know, uh, <laughs> wow, how will they find someone to do a Rick and Morty impression? <laughs> yeah, it must have been a struggle, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, jeez. That wasn't that good, but... I was just thinking New Zealand and Morty. <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> oh. Rip that what the guy. fuck do you want, Morty, you <laughs> fucking cunt? <laughs> Why is this not a thing? I would love to see New Zealand Rick. I mean, just, uh, just like do the Australian, just do the Australian yeah. Rick and Morty. Yeah, the, uh... Fun of, well, you've uh, seen that video, right? Aboriginals the whole time and shit. Nah. Oh, wait, I think so. Is it, like, really badly animated? It's not badly animated, it's Adult Swim. I meant like, you know, it's meant to like look like someone just kind of threw it together. It's um, so it's, it's the guy, it's uh, oh, what's his face? Um, that helps me. Ah, oh, I forget his fucking name. The animator. Anyways. Yeah, I think it's it. not. Get in the fucking car, Morty! <laughs> I'll have to look it up later. I'm asleep. Hello, I, Morty's I think asleep. my favorite one is when they animated what? the uh, Rick and Morty at the trial. That that old trial from like 20, what, 12 or whatever. You're gonna suck my dick. <laughs> and Morty's the judge. That shit was great. Really, the mammoth got upset and went to bed? He's been here for five fucking minutes. Man, I'm gonna inject you with so many drugs later to get you to work. <laughs> I've been trying to get some books to transfer my fucking e-reader over and over what? again. USB's acting flaky, and I'm like, is there a bad shit? Like, is the connector bad? I'm gonna have to pull this thing apart and resolder. It's, you know, it's over a decade old. Mm. Yeah. Notice the tablet there is acting. You notice that the e-reader's acting a little funny. Now, this thing runs like Android 2.3 or some shit. As I'm in the process of trying to go through the settings menu to get it to reboot, it crashes and reboots. We're what? trying now. <laughs> it crashed itself. <laughs> it restarted itself and then it works. <laughs> Even that was just like, you know what, man? I think you got the right idea. <laughs> yeah, Here, my let bad. Me help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> let me just. Like you're telling me to t fucking turn myself off. <laughs> Would you like help with that? All you do is fucking comply. Getting on my fucking nerves, Morty! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you for real! <laughs> like, oh, that, that sort of shit never ceases to make me giggle. Like, it has a direct line to my funny bone. It's like that in the boondocks. Boondocks always made me laugh. That shit's so good. Especially if, like, uh, you grew up around the ghetto. Like, it's just, it's like being home. I have multiple food things set up. Yeah, let's do that. Oh wait, I wanted um bass fuckers. I forgot I deleted them all. There. What? All right, fine. I'll do the palladium run. Mm. 
Get your fucking food on, big king. I'm gonna walk to Bendigo. It's gonna be eight days to Bendigo, buddy. <laughs> Bush dimension. <laughs> yeah. A snake bit my penis, Rick. Gotta suck your little morty penis to get the venom out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I watched the whole thing, but I definitely watched a little bit of the beginning. That's just Only four and a half minutes in. Well, that's what I mean, like... I think I watched like a little clip things. of it. <laughs> no, granddad. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh my doggy, the bush wizard. I wish it wasn't, uh... Max ranges for your uh, crossbows and shit, or it would actually state how far it is. It's really annoying to try to shoot something and you see the uh, arrow hit them or the bolt, whatever it shoots, and then uh, does zero damage because it just flies right through them or some shit. What the fuck you call? Oh, also, I wanted to ask you, pal, world gamers, what you think is a good egg hatch time? Like, uh, just put it to normal. I don't really give a fuck anymore, to be honest. I would, like, shorter than 18 hours, so, like, I don't know, two hours. What even is the normal setting? Two. Normal's, like, over eight hours. Two. Oh, okay. You mean that. So, uh, Do so... for a huge in... egg. No, so in the settings, you've got egg hatch time. It's set to 72 at the moment, which is the hard difficulty setting. Uh, the normal time is two, so you put it to two, and that'll adjust it appropriately. And what is that? Like, what's the longest? I don't, I don't know what that actually equals to. But... Yeah, I was like, as long as it's not 18 hours anymore, because that's kind of annoying. It slows down the hatching so much, where it's like, I'm just full of eggs for no reason. <laughs> it's like, let me get okay, eggs. yeah, so that means two hours for a huge egg with no boosts. If right, you that, get it to plus 100%, it'll be one hour for a huge egg. Okay, cool. That would explain why these common eggs uh, were instant earlier. Or I broke it. One or the other. I'm okay with breaking it, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to be starting to set up my PAL team here soon to... Or, not my, uh, not my combat team, but the people at the base. Where it's just pure efficiency. <laughs> so it's going to be like a lot of Tombats. A couple of Grass types, a couple of Water types. And then maybe some of the Dream ones. Oh, and I caught one of those cat things you were looking for, and it gave me the cat hair immediately. Yeah. That cat mist or whatever it was called that you were looking for last night.
Uncle Barry's off his bloody rocker. Help me, boy. <laughs> It reminds me of, uh, what was it, like Dazzy and Damo or some shit? It's literally the same guy. That's what I was gonna say, it, it reminds me of that. And I love that. Put a witchy grab on your little sausage. <laughs> Let me borrow your lighter. Beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> You know, I wish the pals would eat till they're actually full, instead of like, just eat a little bit, go and work for a little bit, go and eat a little bit, work a little bit, like, fuck you, just fucking eat enough that you're full. And work a lot. <laughs> My husband's a bloody you. <laughs> Harpoon boys, we go to Bendigo. If I just get a male Mossando with the muscle head trait, I will be extremely close to getting a very good flying mount. Why would his muscle head give him more stamina? This is horse shit. I don't know, I was following you. Though I doubt it. But if anybody happens to have a Mossando with muscle head, I would pay handsomely for it. Is there a way to trade pals? Sarah's like fucking yes. doing drugs. Okay, so I'll check in a minute if I have whatever that is. What does it look like? They catch a lot of random things that I fly by. I'm trying to get like 10 of everything so I can combine them or whatever. You get 10 for the XP boost. If you well, haven't explored much, you probably don't have it. I haven't explored where? What? Mm -hmm. These free power lines fuckers are everywhere. Yeah, I'm always. Alright. Free power lines? You gotta fucking deal with PETA? Yeah, literally. <laughs> They're like, having having animals in slavery, and, and I'm like, shut up, I need this to dig more ore for me. <laughs> I didn't see you volunteering to be a slave. That pulls out power balls for all Oh, you. Sarah, I've got two Masada, uh, Masandas here. In front of me. Yeah, but they have the muscle I don't know, I haven't caught them. Blade, bitch, go! I think another one you're talking about, I'm not sure. It's a big fucking uh, beard looking thing, but it's green. Oh, never mind, but no, I haven't seen it. I saw it on the cover art or whatever, mm -hmm. though. <laughs> oh, God. Alright. It's so big and scary. That's what she said. That was, in fact, not what she said. What, you don't see a bear and think that's fucking scary? I just caught both of them, so no. <laughs> I don't think bears are very scary either. Just don't let them be hungry around you. Oh, fuck your asshole, dude. Pretty, uh, homo sapien of you. Not damn right. You goddamn right. Say my name. 
cum guzzler. <laughs> Don't look directly in his eyes, Morty. Morty. Right in his eyes, Morty. <laughs> I'm still glad they did that uh, Mad Max episode. Oh, that's you above me, isn't it, sir? I hear you fucking doing some shit. They're going in. Hi. I spy with my little eye, a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. She's looking at her reflection again. <laughs> Kill. Will you just animate that guy? Yeah, that's a fucking cool, uh... Omi W.A. Mao Shindaro. Oh, no. <laughs> it got broken. Omi W.A. M.O.U. Shindaro. Okay, that was close. At least that last bit. There you go. There it was. <sighs> okay. You done being a big thing about this late bitch? Yay, it's done. Okay, cool. I've been doing the most fun. Oh my god, they're like suicide bombs. Oh, you found those guys. I love those little guys. <laughs> I'll post an r slash the, the B things? Yeah, yeah, like explode, right? Yeah, they ran at me. Yeah, the bees do it too. Yeah, I like I'm used the to the birds doing it, but not the bees. Not the, the bees. Birds and the bees. Not the bees. So a guy in r slash uh, poker uh, oh. posted. He lives in a large condo. In December, I looked out my window and I could see a dude living across the street from me, one unit down, playing on Poker Stars. His monitor is set up so anyone looking in the window can see his computer. Oh screen. my God! No. With, with binoculars or my girlfriend's iPhone, I could see his whole cards from my window, and I've just been playing him in cash games for almost two months now. I'm up thousands of dollars from this one dude because I can see his cards from my apartment. I'm having him play. I haven't seen him playing in a while, but I'm wondering if what I've been doing is legal. Well, I think it's illegal. One... I don't yeah, think you it's, should it's tell anyone you doing but this. I wouldn't video. say it. I mean, it's probably a shit post, but it's funny. A day later, someone posts, post, does a shit post. I'm down thousands from this one guy. This can't seem to win. <laughs> I got a nice computer set up in the wind by the window of my apartment. I love it. There's a breeze, and I can have the window open. I love those kinds of things. What the post? Uh, when, when 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 someone else fucking answered the other half of the joke. Things like this. It's a link. How little you care I don't like the... Like Pokemon? Buy a car on the way to work today. What? My 500 euro bike is beyond repair. My neck is stiff and I can barely raise my arm. But my boss made me go to the doctor and I got the more... 144p. Damn. Uh, that's a win in my book. Dude, you got hit by a car. That's not a win, dude. Crazy story. I was on my way to work today and some dumbass cyclist pulled out in front of me. Naturally, I ran them over. These fuckers think they own the road or something. I saw, uh... <laughs> That's great. That's for later. I'll save you for later. <laughs> hey, Cortana, I have a thing for you. Yeah, no, Sarah, there have been some actual incidents that happened on, on um, da r slash dash cam. <laughs> Where, where, like, some guy posted someone, like, driving like a complete fucking jackass, 
and cutting off a big truck. And then a guy po is, is like, hang on a second. And someone goes back into, into the posting history and finds the dash cam from the truck that got cut off. Now you have both perspectives. Where is it? I could swore I saved it somewhere. <sighs> oh, there it is. Found it for you, there. Enjoy. Boyd. Oh yeah. J hey Sarah, do I need wool later for anything big? What? Yes. Or should I sell it all? Oh, okay. Cause I got like eight grand on me, so. Let's see. Okay, I had eight grand. I don't know where it all went. You mean you had eight grand? You mean eight thousand wood? No, eight thousand wool. Speaking of, I'm probably gonna go back to that. Wood, wool production. This wool gives me cloth. Lamb ball, go. Ah, uh, fuck it, nimble will do. Just hope that was a male. Is there like an efficient way to get pallium? Dig. Crush stone. Oh. Yeah, that too. Oh yeah, of course. Fucking duh. <laughs> I forgot about the crusher. Yeah, as long as you got enough stone. Fuck it was female. <laughs> Sarah out here sounding like the Chinese government. <laughs> I wish we had PvP on so we could try things on each other. It's not a feature of the game yet. I know. I'm just saying I wish. I wish! Yeah, I'm gonna make this real easy for you guys. Let me put it like Lori here. I need sulfur. I mean, I got sulfur anymore. I got sulfur. Well, I got eight. Really? Yeah, I got it from a dungeon I was in. Oh, I wish I, I mean, could have brought it. I can't put flour in there. I'll give you a hand job for it. Alright, cool. I'll let you shoot my gun. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I guess I can make bread real quick.
power. Alright. Lambo, why are you depressed? Due to neglect, okay, it was one of the coins I forgot to fix from yesterday. Yeah, there was a dungeon I was in. It was a random dungeon that, you know, randomly generated or whatever it was. And then, uh, happened to have sulfur, like, everywhere. Neat. I was like, I might need this later, but then I stopped giving a shit. I know of a good mining spot for it, but it's a bit annoying to get to. Yeah, those things in life are. <laughs> Oh, hey, do you got any horns? <laughs> I got horns. Alright, I just need two. Oh, uh, you want me to make you some uh, drugs? If you can make the high grade fast, because I got a depressed little lamb ball that needs an injection of happy juice, that'd be awesome. Only if I get all of your silver. Yeah, literally, you can have all 80, I don't give a fuck. Oh. You still owe me the hand job, though. <laughs> I, mm. What? You know how my house is, right? Fuck no. You moved it, didn't you? <laughs> so I really don't know now. What? What? I'm still just south of the uh, castle. There's a little bridge now to the castle, so you'll be able to walk right there. Or not castle, the uh, church. Desolate church. We should shoot up fireworks. Capture pals. Stun on the spool. All right. I'll grab that. Go electric use. You hear yet? Huh? I said you hear yet? <laughs> no, I'm making it at my house. Oh, oh you're coming yeah. to me. I don't know where the fuck you are. All right, where's your house? Uh, where I am. <gasps> That's very helpful. I'm, I can't let go of F, otherwise I stop making the medical supplies. <laughs> I hate making medical, it takes so long. <laughs> Alright, uh, Sarah, can you describe where he is? Okay, hang on. I am north of the Pat Patalia boss. You'll see a free pal bitch camp somewhere north of there. He's north of that. <laughs> She's not lying. I thought she was talking about you. What? At first. I'm, not no. I'm not a bitch. Wow. Well, only bitch says they ain't a bitch. Damn, hmm. boys, calm down. I got distracted. It's a <laughs> What? Uh, I still remember all the. Weird conservatives that saw Donald Glover's video and they're like, now I'm confused about my sexual activity. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Glover <laughs> made me gay. Don, Don, yeah. No, Donald Glover oh, didn't right, make me gay. Right, he's trans. He's actually That's right. He's secretly a woman. Otherwise, how else would I have been attracted to him? Has to be one of the greatest self self reports in history. <laughs> uh, 
So uh, I, I know it's like what long past caring, but credit where it's due. The squad team continues to work to improve squad 44. Yeah, I still With don't like the performance stuff, improvements, but... replacing building models, fixing collision issues, and Rubber fixing cards. weird bugs trying to shoot through windows. It's it's <laughs> like they're trying to make the game playable. What weirdos? Which I one's know, 44 again? Is it Postscriptum or the other one? Hell out loose. Uh, the it, robot it living inside your computer. Yeah, I can tell. Maybe just for Mary is stupid combat. Just for giggles, we'll reinstall Squad 44 and see how it's doing these days. Yeah, so it's the post Operation Cryptum. Greyhound was their, was their oh yeah, that's their their big their new thing right now is Operation Greyhound that just got posted today. Quality of life improvements. What? Animation, level design, coding changes, <clears throat> oh. further optimizations, bug fixing, new player experience improvements, game environment. Wow. <laughs> Yep. Oh, and uh, they—they've they, also—they've also tweaked the size of the rear aperture sights on a lot of those peep sights to make them uh, fucking usable. Oh uh, yeah. Because, because you can't accurately simulate how a peep sight works in a video game. Yeah. Well, you can. You just have to think about it. Like, well, make some zoom or something. I mean, in, in real life, yeah, you'd have to make it so the peep sight nearly disappears. Uh, in this case, they've opened up the aperture a bit to make it a little more usable. Oh, it just requires really? effort, and people don't want to do that. How Bro. dare you make us do effort? You horrible person. Alright, I'm by the free uh, pals. They've done a bunch of changes to logistics, and how fog work, and like the exclusion zone around existing radios. <laughs> they have been, uh, they did some tweaks to make it so that it's harder for someone to say, go all the way back behind your enemy spawn, set up a logistics point. Oh, and point, just keep killing you. And then just you. fucking start mowing you down with a yeah, that's so boring. Yeah, they, they, they worked to make that, um, much more difficult to, to pull off. It's just so annoying, because it's like, what the fuck, you're kind of killing the fun of the game. Construction of emplacement behind the lines that I'll have also been to reduce backline camping and prevent more realistic behind. You'd have those people that are like, I'm so good at the games. Like, you're killing the artillery guys that can't fight back, so you're not actually long, that good. Long term bugs uh, like those encountered with shooting out of windows from slight angles have been fixed, as well as promo art armor and offset markers on maps. New spawn menu UI, improved FPS, and allowing squad leaders to name their sections and delete previously placed markers. Nice. That's yes, something I was get asking it. for. You get a new compass on the UI. That's me, cool. New come, new come plus. New come plus. New come? Question mark? New come? Who this? So many of these PETA guys outside your base. Just ignore them. I am. I'm right above you. Well, can you come to me? I'm literally right here. I'm I... in your asshole. Come over here. Right, come over here. Hey, let's drop it for you. Where? Drop it where? Hey, they fixed the bug where you couldn't have tank sections where? in Utah Beach. Give it a sec, I had to move. <laughs> Jesus. Cool, thanks. Psycho. He was like, where is it at? Where is it at? Give me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you. You're you just like freaking out, like, where is it? Yeah. I need my fix. You what? You. You're like, I need what? my fix. Yeah, for the soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. funny. Alright. You done with the medical yet? Huh? Did you finish the needle? What are you talking about? For my veins. What are you... you're here when I... Eh. I don't know what you're talking about. I genuinely have no idea what you're talking about. There ain't no PvP and he stole my money. Sarah, burn his base down. <laughs> <laughs> there, look. Thank Whack you. <laughs> Alright, cool. Off to my home I go. I enjoy fucking with people. Mm. I enjoy fun. much to the detriment to their own mental health. <laughs> Fixed. Oh, here you go, Pat. Something that would uh, that was completely irrational and annoying. Fixed Firefly Coax MG name from Besa to M1919. What? Why was it called Besa? What the fuck does that even mean? Well, uh, because it was a. Well, okay. So the British 
the British had their own specific gun for putting in tanks. They didn't use it outside of anything other than tanks. And it's called the base that had fired also. It also fired the German ammunition for some reason. Uh, no one really knows why that's here. Like, get it, get it, yeah, in real life, it fired 792 miles at it. Uh, I mean, it's, I, it is bizarre. I, I bet, it is I, genuinely I bet it bizarre. Was because, I bet it was because it was like some design, some design left over from World War One, from a Cold War One evaluation or some shit. Or so that they can steal ammo from the enemy or some dumb shit. Oh, I mean, why would you? Yeah, but, but, it, but the prerequisite is that you need to ammunition. But it, it doesn't fire from like German disintegrating belts. Oh, well, then that's belts. stupid too. Yeah, it's it's all proprietary. Anyway, very dumb design. The Sherman doesn't have a base of machine gun. The Sherman has a is an American tank with a 1919. So they fixed it. So shoots good boy. Right. I, I, the mix-up probably happened because the Firefly is part of the British tank. You know, tank uh, uh, tank units. And someone fucked up. I knocked her ass out. Wait, where'd she go? To put it bluntly, somebody has missed it. Hmm. Yeah. Why am I getting? Hmm. Oh shit, I think the server's dying or something. Yes, increased sight aperture on M1 carbine Springfield yep. standard uh -huh. race gun. Finn, oh, the game crashed. Oh, for real. Well, well that's my, nice, Pat. Mine's still up. Mm -hmm. Improvement. They thinned the front sight post on the man liquor and the, uh, the Enfield uh -huh. number man one. They said the man liquor, man yeah. It's actually, it's actually <laughs> man liquor. <laughs> man liquor. So. Excuse me? It's a man liquor? Manlika. Uh, those are the same word. No. You're pronouncing it wrong. Like an American. <laughs> I, I, like I, I, like I, I, an American. I, I, excuse me, I believe, it's, I believe it's pronounced Manlika. Man Lucre. Man, Man Lucre, you crazy. <laughs> Not pronouncing it like the armies. My clip fall out the bottom. <laughs> no, on the monitor, it does actually fall out the bottom. It's a, it. Well, it's a. Uh, it, it's a. It predates a the M1 Garand, design. but. Well, no, it's not a bad design. It, Let me call it poor design because it's Nazi shit. <laughs> well, I mean, again, it predates all that. I know. <laughs> it's a. What is the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Uh, uh, it, it's it is a, a different variant vari it's an earlier variation of the unblock clip system so the m1 of course instead of having it drop out the bottom like many rifles did it just punts it out the top when, when it when it uh, locks open but uh, most of the unblock clip guns just have a space in the bottom of the magazine that falls out because there's yeah. no which is actually a really easy way of doing it because of course there's no bullets holding the clip together uh, in place anymore. So you just have a gap in the magazine, the shape of the, the clip, and it just falls at the bottom. Of course, it also lets dirt in. In theory. That's fucking gross. How dare. And of course, it also means that the design of the clip is also has to, has to accommodate that a bit. Enable dynamic physics on loose sling ring and bipod for multiple weapons. Yay, things will rattle and sway around. I was going to say, that's kind of cool. Like, it's not useful necessarily, but you know. Increase the firing rate on the M1928 Thompson to a realistic 850 rounds per minute. Why? How, how fast was it before? I guess it was slower. That's what I mean. Like, uh, gross. I'm going to do that for a sec. Bump, um... Bumped up the recoil in the FG-42 while in bipod to be on par with other similar weapons of its class. Bunch of little animation tweaks and, eje and, and, and shit like that on various weapons, including the shell ejection offset on the, mark, on the number 4 Mark 1, being weird. Fixed bullet poking out of the weapon briefly during Springfield reload animation. Yeah. yeah, it looks like they've done just a huge, like, tidy up pass. Maybe they've been working yeah. on it for a while. We just thought they were 
like oh, this was part of the other bigger <laughs> that's what i mean like, <sighs> added zero into the mp40 thompson uh both thompson's the c96 and the 1919. set the zero Hell? for the grease gun to its irl 100 meter setting Oh, thank God, instead of like 10 meters or whatever the fuck it was before. I don't know what the hell they zeroed it. Maybe they zeroed it for like 200 or 300 or something. It, it was something stupid where either it was super laser accurate if you like... I remember if you did small bursts, like one or two rounds, it was great, uh, even at range. But like up close, if you just held down the trigger, like you weren't hitting shit. But I don't think it was good, yeah. like too far. Another slave for the camps. <laughs> Why the fuck are your closest uh, teleporters so far away there, Pat? It's like 300 meters for your base. Why am I what? I said, why Why is the closest teleporters to your base 300 meters? They're both like almost equidistant from you. I don't know, because I don't need to teleport to my base. I know you don't, uh, but still. I'm just like, ugh. Poor design. <laughs> How are friends supposed to visit you? You're gonna hate my new base then. I don't mind yours. Yours sounds like a bench. So I'm excited. It's gonna be like some real hobby. Hey, there's finally an armor school. Oh, like a how-to kind of tutorial mm. thing? Arnhem Range Proving Ground Boot Camp is locked out. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got another one. Yeah. Stop resisting my balls. Bro, oh, that is so annoying. Yeah. Like, you'll hit them in the back, and they're just like, obviously, they fended it off. It's like, bitch, how? They're not even facing that way. Don't lie to me. I will keep hunting Mossandas until I have 50 Hyper Spears left. Then, if I don't have what I need, I'll settle for what I got. Oh, Christ, is that ever left? What is it? My hearing just, I, when I clicked in, I actually fired. Oh. Let's go ahead and turn that volume down by to 40%. Yeah, I think my squad right. volume and, uh,. Uh, postscriptum are like super low. There we go. I mean, oh. Wait, what? If you hold down Q, it does things. I didn't know that. I can't remember. Yeah. Could, you, could you mad men at the fucking hmm. gun before? Uh, yeah. The Liam felt the ways. He always had like a close combat for a port. Yeah. Middle, middle finger. Yeah, middle finger on the trigger. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, uses the back of his knuckle to the ba back of his thumb to knock the cliff out of the charger bridge. Pretty flex. That's cool. Yeah. You're in Peter now. Whoa.
I wonder if you stumbled upon my mining base while you were over here, Pat. Maybe. Back to the ball. Quit questioning my balls. The MP40 being very controllable. You can actually give it a little bit of an HK slap on the reload there. <laughs> it's a bit anachronistic. Or let me, let me, let me mag slap dump here and see it. Again. Okay. Reload. Hook it back. Hmm. Yeah, you know, a little bit gives it a, a little bit of a. Kind of, I'm, not sure, I'm not even sure if you could actually pull that off in real life. Hmm? You have to get past the notch. Alright, well, might as well. Let's try the MP43. OP, please nerf. <laughs> Very, very, very controllable. <laughs> Good. I like right, games that have been trying to gear more towards that. Instead of, like, bouncing through recoil, which is fucking dumb. I'm glad well, a lot I mean, of games lately have been trying to... Recoil, but... No, 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 but I mean, like, there's a lot of games that don't try to be accurate with the recoil, where most guns are laser beams or you wouldn't use it. You know what I mean? Like, that'd be fucking stupid to use uh, most guns if there was, like, just super recoil and you could never hit anything. Yeah, they, they definitely they opened up the because they don't model the, the aperture being really blurry and so on. Realistic. You are basically just using the sight post as a as a targeting curve. You know what? Yeah, that's all you should have to have. Well, I mean, you can simulate a peak sight accurately, but I can see why you wouldn't want to bother doing it because it's a lot of work. Yeah, but once you do it right, no one needs to care. If they could do it in Operation Flashpoint, they can do it in modern games. Yeah, I mean, honestly. I feel like, I feel like there's a bit more uh, more overhead nowadays. Also, yeah, what? Fucking... Just blurring something? Also, do you remember what the what the fucking rear sight on the foul looked like in Arma 2? I said Operation Flashpoint. It was I know, even but older. in Arma 2, it was fucking dog shit. Well, yeah, but that's because Bohemia sucked us then. then. <laughs> What I'm saying is, I have my doubts. There we go. I fixed my lamb ball. Now he's happy again. <sighs> Thank you, Pat. You made it all possible. Yep. What? The two inch mortar. Let's. Mm -hmm. I love that thing. Mortar. I, I, they need to bring that back for some modern games where you can run around with a mortar tube. Or how you okay. yep. how do you lean like uh, you lay down and then you hold right click and then aim up and down while holding right click. And that's how you set your range. Straight up is gonna be like fifty meters or something like that, and then go down from there. I think it's got a max range of like two hundred meters. Maybe three hundred if you like really know what you're doing and you're on a hill. That okay. was my favorite weapon in that game. I feel like I'm missing something on how to mount this thing well, though. Oh, and they finally fixed it so you can shoot through fences. Oh, like wood, Like, wood fences are no longer impenetrable cover. And, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't use this mortar. It just doesn't, uh, doesn't let me do anything with it. Prone. It should Put give you the options down. at that point, yeah. Uh, I got nothing. I'm just holding on to it. Um, try mount button. Whatever your mount button is. That's a good question. What is my mount button? Because they might have changed our mount system instead of the old way. Pre-look, interact, radial menu, insight, boat. Ah, bipod attached detached bayonets. See, um, 
Maybe that doesn't work in this context. <laughs> Kidding! I hit one of the moving targets with a bazooka. I didn't see it. I didn't see it happen. But hearing the uh, hearing the little squack was satisfying. And is this a super bazooka? It shouldn't be. Super Bazooka is. Would it be form. possible to sleep? Oh, yeah, the. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, the M9A1 sure it Bazooka. It's not the Super Bazooka, but it's the it was the uh, one that has the two piece, the slightly longer tube and a tube that comes apart two pieces. The Super yeah. Bazooka, I think, was, was a, a later derivative of it. Uh, uh, the tube version that didn't use a battery to uh, to fire. So yeah, did you, sound, it sounds quite nice. Yeah, nice. Did you figure out the uh, mortar? Blowing a missile into a uh, into a big piece of pipe sort of feeling good. Pipe, are we? Laying pipe all by yourself, there, handsome. <laughs> Such a waste of friggin' time. Oh, that's why my house was destroyed back here. Wait, check. How do you know the durability? I like all the noises my character makes when he goes and lays in bed. Wow. <laughs> the rifle grenade launcher annoying. with a smoke is a fucking missile that shoots very flat at an extraordinary range. So you just like, like, oh, that building over there 100 meters away, and you just basically punt it in a window. Yep. Which is very realistic. And that's good. All oh, right, so now I just got a hope for a male Anubis with runner, and then my flying mount will be fast as fuck. I just want a Anubis. That's like been my whole goal since before the game came out. Oh, yeah. Compared to the M1 oh. Tom, uh, let's see. oh yeah, faster. Five, oh, hey, Cortana. Yes. How do you make the fluffy pal bed? What what pal is it that I need to find? And can you check where its habitat would be? I think I saw. It's just a level thing. Be. Fluffy pal bed is just a level thing. I thought you needed a certain pal capture to do it. No. On the list. Yeah, because I don't see fluffy pal bed. Look harder. You might and I mean, I am currently and... breeding Anubises. I could be convinced to part with an egg. But I don't know what, what the palette is because I can't see the bed. Like, I see fine bed, but I don't see fluffy bed, which should be before that. What level are you seeing at, Pat, in technology? The Pyat is a lot 24. more um, intimidating than it used yeah, to be. Yeah, I don't see it, so it must it be. It feels a, a lot really oh, satisfying to shoot. I lied to myself. I thought that was something else and not a bed. Okay, so I just need to go kill things. I'm down. Going up by your house there. I gotta go Pat, take Pegasus Bridge, boys. That way. Pegasus Bridge. Yeah. One, of the, uh, one of the targets the British had to take. If you have a decent amount of ore or ingots, I could part with one of the Anubis eggs I'm about to get. Watch. Oh, okay. Or slash. It's show chef time. Anubis. Oh yeah, the bipod swings around now! Whee! 
can just spin in circles. Yeah, when you spin or when you move, when you wiggle around, the bipod wiggles around too. I just need a lot of metal, so a fair bit. Yeah, I think this is qualified as a light machine gun. Bup, 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 bup. Very slow firing rate. It's uh it's a full it's a full length recoil operating machine gun. <laughs> it is. Thirty-eight, that's a classic. Mass thirty-eight really does live up to the name machine pistol. <laughs> I'd say just make me an offer and we'll see. It, it just looks like a long it's like a long barrel pistol ingots. with a buttstock. Five ingots. Five ingots and five ore. This isn't an auction house. Says you. Six ingots. Seven. And ten, ten ore. <laughs> one hundred ingots. I was thinking more in the range okay, of like three hundred. Well, he said one hundred, so he wins. There you go. There's your price. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. I don't even fucking know what she's offering me. I don't. <laughs> I was offering beard and Anubis egg. Uh, yeah. I think I can do... I don't know, if I keep raiding Dragon's little war base, I should be able to do that in the next hour. Cheeky shit. <laughs> That's what I... He has all the ore in the world. He doesn't need it all. He doesn't even log in to get it. He'll be fine. No way, he doesn't know doesn't hurt him. That I mean, fuck it, I don't care where it comes from. This gives me plausible deniability. <laughs> well, I've been doing it since, like, the first time it showed up because they're just sitting on the ground, like, and, oh no, it actually ended up in my inventory automatically. Darn. <laughs> Like, I only have one ore near me, and then there's some farther down, but it's like, he has literally the closest ore. So I just take his. Um, let me see. Wait, you, you can, you can throw a helmet again. Wait, they brought that back? Alright, so far I got It's, a, it, it's in the grenade testing station. And it's a meme. Yeah, I'm a little bit so annoyed nine. by that, I mean, but I guess I can't blame him since I never mentioned it. I wasn't he's... going to put a mining base there so me and you could share it for manual mining. Yeah, and that's what I was doing. I was going up there and manually like pulling it out of the ground before. And I thought it was your little mine base. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Also, I finished my bridge from my base to the eclipse. So that's nice now. Okay, so at plus 100%, it's 5 minutes for normal eggs, 30 minutes for large, an hour for huge. That's good. That's good timing. That way we're not wasting 12 hours waiting on an egg that doesn't really yes. help the gameplay. I, mean, I ain't really too fucking bothered about putting down heaters and coolers and shit. What was that? And I won't be particularly bothered to put down heaters and coolers. Oh, heaters and coolers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about ripping those up. Getting back the uh, the stuff to it. I mean, honestly, the best thing to do is set up a base at the lower volcano and then just surround a campfire with incubators. That gives a 100% <laughs> bonus day and night. Yeah, because it is a volcano. I would like to have a volcano base. That's cool with everyone. That sounds fun. That'll be my next goal volcano base. I just want our shit to have. There are I some cool spots up there, honestly. Like, I can rubber banding again. Yeah, you're lagging. Your internet sucks lately. 
I don't know if it's my internet or the game, because it's only the No, game it's the your game. internet because you're lagging to fuck right now in TeamSpeak. And you've been doing that constantly over the last couple days, too. Let me check my internet. Speed test. Alright, so I got over 600 gigs down. Okay, so speed and packet loss are not the same thing. I know, no, I'm just checking, and then it'll tell me my other shit in a sec. It doesn't tell you packet loss. Only eight oh, cool, late late. Okay. You're back, normal. Yeah, sometimes... What you should do is use command prompt and ping Google, and it'll tell you if you're doing terribly or not. Because the pain yeah. should be minimal. You were at 43% outbound packet loss when I checked. Yeah. That's what's saying in game too. <laughs> it actually tells you my shit when I hit escape. PS connection info is useful. Oh yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. I'm re-watching the, uh, it's Overlord, it, the SCP Overlord movie video thing. It's so good. While I make, uh, while I make handgun ammo, it takes forever to make. I've been wanting to make a video like that for years, and seeing someone else do it makes me so happy. I'm like, perfect. It's perfect. And then you have that scene where the guy, I'm not even sure if it's scripted, his, uh, gas mask is getting fogged, and you're like, fix your seal. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I came. <laughs> okay. His base has to be like stopped for like 20 grand or by now. And I'm not even sure he does anything with it. <laughs> but he stopped. Like, he'll never need ore again after like the week he's had on this place. So I don't feel bad stealing some of it. Also, he said wood. earlier that he had nearly 10k ore when he logged in today. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he's fucking fine. I was like, I, I don't feel bad about stealing any of this. He ain't hurting. The rest of us are hurting. <laughs> Read the dossier. I don't know. You said a word that made me. Laugh. I said Berthier. Sound quieter. Did you move away from your mic? You sound the same. Why do you point it away from me? Oh, okay. Yeah, but for you, he might sound the same, Pat, because you got good working ears. Some of us oh, are so deaf. <laughs> yeah, the guy with, like, 50% hearing his left ear is good working ears. Yeah, and suddenly I can't hear him as good, so he might have turned away from the mic, which he said he did. Boom. <laughs> I mean, we all know you have to turn away from the mic. Turn away for what? Oh, OMG Tay. <laughs> So like everywhere on the internet. <laughs> Still. Oops. I mean, I'll be watching a YouTube video. Scroll down to see the comments, and he'll. Top comments, day. Yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. I heard that. All right, let's see. Bulls is no better oh, than all right. core duty kids. What do you mean I can't mount my what? mount while I'm full jacking over the things on? It's, it's a prerequisite. I'm at the shooting range. I just wanted to see if the reload animation was accurate. Grand Ping kids and uh, 18 Bert kids are the same. Same kids. Oh. Oh. Challenge. Yes. That syndicate thug Literally chose the wrong fucking house you. to walk up to. <laughs> 
What level are the syndicate by you? Four. Oh, Panzer Wait, Faust. really? I feel Aren't you like in the I'm high level area? again? Oh. So that means you're like one tap at him at that point. No, I'm still right next to you. Oh, you're at that place. I thought you were at the uh, your main base, the castle. My new one isn't anywhere near done. Oh, Wait, let's see. all right, that makes sense. Okay, yep, that's this is a number one Mark III. Yep. Look at that charging bridge, big curved bit of metal. I wonder if uh, Gungies is gonna do a new video on the changes. He'll be like, yeah, I like the new stuff. Mm. Oh, you can get overload on yours. Okay. at 300 uh, ore, uh, not ore, uh, ingots, right? Yes. Alright, let me see. I just got a bunch. Yo, it's me and the boys. Yeah. Anti-tank rifle. The tank rifle boys, sick to get them. Me and the boys taking down some armor. <laughs> Oh my god, they're using FM50 fucking gas masks. Yep. They're the ones we use for Recognize them. I touch them all the time. I was gonna say, I, I used to wear them. It's comfy. I still don't want to shave my face to wear it though. <laughs> it's a neat part. You don't. Uh, many people have pointed out modern gas masks work with facial hair. But the materials they use. I mean, maybe not against like super like strong shit that's gonna melt your mask anyways, of course. But I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> the, you're not really facing that sort of shit every day. <laughs> like the Russians, I know for sure have the one where it melts your mask to your face. Like, I feel like facial hair might actually save your face. <laughs> Wait, the MG26. Huh. <laughs> it's the uh, ZV26. The, yeah, uh, yeah. The I, brand. Was, I was looking at, I was looking at it, and then looking at the brand, and looking at it, and looking at the brand. Right, like, you know, that sight wheel on the side <laughs> looks really familiar. Mm. Almost like I've seen it somewhere before. That was the uh, that was the adjustable site. I got 158 also, so also, far. Cortana. That adjustable site was also in the really early brand, wasn't it? And a million more on the way. Possibly, I don't recall. I mean, yeah, the Z the ZB26 is the progenitor of the brand. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then they. Yeah, and then and then they see the origin the early brand. I think the early production brand had had uh, the same thing where it had this. Or at least in like prototype stages, it inherited that wheel. I remember because I think there was a forgotten weapons where he was showing like really early Bren receivers and showing how there was a uh, in early production there's like a vestigial dovetail in the side of the receiver to to, to, to take the uh, direction to take to take that sight. Like that. And of course, yeah, later lit, the Bren in production and for the most part used that uh, just a, a rear a very simple rear tangent sight. Really, is all it needed. Hmm. Possibly more than it needed. But you know, guys had good luck uh, using them as a semi-auto marksman rifle. As Ian McCallum pointed out, really. Crazy Frenchman. Ah. Uh, uh, 
Did they stop eating light yeah. machine guns? Oh, the, like a, yeah, okay, yeah. The friend we have at home. <laughs> it aims over the right side, I think, doesn't it? Uh, it aims over the left. The bipod folds over the right. It doesn't fold underneath, it folds out, up, around, and then flips to the side on the right. Mm. Oh, 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 no, in fairness, underneath the, <gasps> underneath the barrel, they give you things. Not that it makes any fucking difference the bipod itself. The M19 Yeah. Under the bike. Fuck everyone in that direction in particular. Yeah, that's how I did my whole military career. Fuck everything in that way. Yay. <laughs> okay. It's not the most manageable, but you can definitely hit the fire from this bitch. I think my favorite memory was chopping down trees in the Mark 19. They're dead anyways, just kill them. <laughs> yeah. you... I've told you on fuck things over there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Tojo eat shit. No. Roosevelt eat shit. <laughs> uh fucking line. the uh, pyat at my feet and the last thing I saw before you are dead was my broken femur sticking <laughs> out from the stump. Great. great. I think they learned from Hell Let Loose. Uh, gore is great. I did help make the internet. Not you. Go away. Al, Al Gore never helped make the internet. I don't know why he said that. Oh, what the fuck he was trying to get uh, at? What he, he never he helped. Did was he did actually help pass funding for what for um? Oh sure. What eventually? But that I doesn't mean you funding, made the funding internet. for what helped get the internet to the point where it was commercially viable, commercially available. Yeah, but still, that doesn't mean he invented the internet. But everyone likes to treat him like he did. He invented the internet because everyone jokes about that. Yeah. Don't defend him. He sucks. He's Al Gore. He just wants to say that man bear pig's real, but it's not. And he's lying. <laughs> Greenhouse gases jump the ultraviolet rays. You think you're going, boy? I wish there was a pal that can hold shit. Like a backpack pal. Some of them do increase your carrying capacity. But not by much. Oh, if you're ever it'll make a reset potion, I'll take one. They fixed it apparently in the patch. I want to reallocate the way I did my skills. I was dumb enough to put some into attack. <laughs> I did, and then I realized it doesn't actually help with anything but melee, so... Not that good. To give you an advantage for the first five minutes of the game. Yeah, and then later on, it's not very useful since everything's ranged and you're trying not to get close to the enemy pal anyways because they'll one-tap you. And you get called. Yeah.
damaged. Yeah, I already have that one. <sighs> Something... The ingots go, I just picked up. The fuck? Oh, wait, there they are. I want a bunch of Tombats and uh, Daydreams. Hmm? Alright, so far I'm, I'm at a hundred um, ore for you. I got me an Egyptian cat. Suck it. Ow. It will be a glorious day when my friends can venture to the north and feast in my banquet hall. <laughs> I think that's become my new quest. Of course, getting an Anubis is still my main quest. But the secondary one is get to Sarah's house.
What does work slave do? <laughs> Passive work slave. Work speed plus 30%. The Zen mine increases. Uh, increases to natural attack damage. watched the entirety of Overlord and I'm still crafting. <laughs> I literally, I watched the, it took me 31 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, it's, it's pretty short. Has he made any more videos? Uh, he, has. he has older ones. They aren't as good. I mean, his latest one was an hour ago. I mean, uh, a year ago, so yeah. Yeah, his newer stuff has been good. The older stuff is kind of like, eh. What are you He's crafting the ammo uh, at? I mean, I was crafting it myself. I don't have any of the, like, product things set up, so... Yeah, at what station? What? Just some, uh, uh, the fucking high-quality workbench. Sarah, I'm... It may be I'm... faster at the weapon workbench. Yep. I mean, probably. Didn't think about it. I'm not exactly... Didn't think about it, Morty! <laughs> That's good to know, though. Information is key. You know, you know the information is uh, is information. You know. Hey, bristles. Yeah. Oh, I need a repair. Ten out of ten bristles. All right, cool. Now I can build that super soldier chamber and put them all into one. <laughs> oh. Tell me all these fucking high speed door kickers are uh, like not using fucking. They're using what? They're using like optical weapons and shit. Oh, no, but... I mean, I always used my red dot, but I didn't use it when closing doors. So this is in the. You know, I'm not a, you know, a door kicker. No, I'm going with iron. <laughs>
didn't realize I had all this war on me. Damn it. Back to normal. I don't know why I tried to feed y'all bread. I thought you guys were gonna appreciate it more and you know, not be piece of shit. But I guess not. Alright, Cortana, I'm about to have two and then one more trip out should get me the three hundred. If you want to start making your way this way, I should be done in like five, ten minutes. I don't even get my big flamey boy on it. Yeah! Show me what you got, Catrice. Damn, triple fireball. Fucking monster. Kill it. Yeah, if I wasn't using a VTuber naming convention, I would have named my cat Res Freerin because of that ability. Oh, yeah. I just love how strong Freerin is. She's so used to hiding her magic and shit. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it becomes second nature over time. But people are like, the other people in the world are just like, that's impossible. It's like flexing a muscle for her. Like I used to spend years in my abs flexed, like just existing that way. And uh, over years I finally learned to, you know, chill and let it just relax. But when I used to work out all the time, keeping the flex while working out, you get a lot more out of it. Yeah, I like that it isn't doing what most anime do, where the enemies get gradually stronger to test their abilities. No, Freerin like is just so monsters. strong that she instantly demolishes everything she fights. <laughs> like start fighting the big dragon. I can't take on a dragon. Accidentally wins. <laughs> Get a good master. <laughs> I turned myself into a, uh, what the fuck, what do they call that shit, the sandwiches, the fucking... Oh, Turn myself into a pickle, Morty. What's that shit they like on their s sandwiches? Ah, uh, 3D muted, that's why. Um, not manwich. 
fuck's that shit called? Oh no, my manwich! <laughs> What's the spread they like to put on their sandwiches in Australia, Pat? What? They like to put this spread on their sandwiches, whatever it is. I'm, what? The name escapes me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Vegemite. I <laughs> turned myself into a Vegemite sandwich, Morty. <laughs> I turned into a Vegemite sandwich, Morty. <laughs> I'm Vegemite Rick. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't remember Vegemite to save my fucking life. If there was a gun to my head, I would have fucking died. <laughs> By the way, having around the, uh... What's her name? Catrus? She jogs around a lot. I like that. It's like very, uh... Uh, what do you call it? Frolicky. Frolics around. Let's go, girls. Dun, 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 dun. All right, that should be it. Just about. I do one more run just for the safe side. What goes, you fuck? Alright, you know what? I feel like they fucked up the pals. They used to put like items with like items. They would literally find the only box around that had it. And now they just put them wherever the fuck. It is so annoying. Literally so have nice. never had that. It's always been disorganized train wreck and it pisses me off. Every single time. <laughs> I would put stuff specifically next to where yeah. I want people to put things. You know, I'd put the put the, the box yeah, yeah, literally inside the rock dropping thing, and I'd find wood in there. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. My poor pickaxe from mining all this shit like it's almost dead. I would just repair it. Wow. <laughs>
I wonder what that big green lady is. slightly. that or I like that the PAL wants to automatically face north when you uh, just fly straight up. <laughs> Cortana, have you made your way towards my base? Your order's ready. Amazon, no. same day delivery. <laughs>
There it is. I'm surprised you haven't named characters after like Ruby. Are you almost out of VTubers? No. Or the, they're just so many. bring my bird in the house. I am here. Oops. <laughs> nice way to announce that you're here. Alright, I'm not going to be able to move once I do this. Uh, do you want them in hundreds or all at once? I can maybe take all of them. We'll see. I think that Daydream took the egg. Oh my god, is that what happened? Where the fuck did it put it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, what box did it put it? Not this one. sent you two links, 3D, one goes after the other. Oh, yeah, I got the trashy one. Yeah. What They're is both trashy. Like? It's a big one. Yeah. Oh, follow up. It's a huge rocky egg. Okay. I, I'm not surprised. I don't care. What the fuck? What is it? What is it? <laughs> I don't care about your degenerate Marxist. Oh, here. I have to say about my truck. Are... Yeah, um, those are your friends, though, aren't they? Oh, stands the Marxists, I suppose. You got the degenerate. I am a bit slow. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> oh yeah, you're really slow. Says he thinks he'll end up helping his business. Admits to taking it off his trucks due to safety concerns for his family. You can't oh, still use so your you're flying mouse. Once you're outside. Oh, you like the helipad I made? <laughs> Go well with the bridge. That'll be slow, but you'll be able to climb things, which is good. Yes. Have fun. <laughs> if you want, I can carry some for you and bring it to the portal. Or the teleporter. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Ooh. 
Great idea. Know that slow too. Yeah, if you just hand me a hundred, I can bring it up. No, there. wait, yeah. another idea. Okay. You can, uh, <laughs> yeah. <It's 3D. Huh? laughs> that worked. Now you're going to be stuck against the rock, so you should probably jump down. I should, uh, hop in your Discord. I'm here. Almost so close. Can you do it to my bird? No. Okay. You got this, I believe in you. <laughs> They're doing an all improv music vid, uh, uh, episode. Oh boy. And of course they had to have Wayne Brady. Oh yeah. He's the master of improv music videos. Yeah. See ya. Time to go to the black market and make some money. Yeah. Yep. Trying to make some motherfucking money. Syndicate guy didn't drop anything. Fucking boo. Yeah, here's a black market so I can sell the other syndicate people I own. <laughs> Chapped lips <laughs> by Chapped. Eminem. Chapped lips. <laughs> Chapped lips suck dicks.
I got a new pal. More sex. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> His base is set up next to the uh, black market. <laughs> Beautiful. Cortana. Mom spaghetti amount of amount of points for you. Poor Pat, is this one of your old bases? I've only had one that's completely gone. <laughs> Maybe it's Dragon Life's main base. You're welcome, Colonial! <laughs> <laughs> I want the automation. Yes, <laughs> hey, sir. What the void? Anna. Yes. What are you going to ask her? I was going to ask you something. Giant like Egyptian beetle. Oh, that's fucking cool.
Damn, dude. Pulled out a giant axe instead of just attacking it. That's awesome. Got level three lumber. Goldilocks by nine inch nails. <laughs> What? <laughs> I had to drive by on some birds. Nice. Mm -hmm. Live with your pistol or did you get a new gun? With my handgun. Nice. You got. You clit. You clit? Yeah. 
Hey, I own another human. Kill me. More thugs for me. <laughs> I think I could take a boss right now. Let's do that. Oh, here's the spot where I got all that, uh... Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Is there... Okay. Question. Is the reason why people watch so much stuff with subtitles now because people mix the audio so badly in productions that yes. people are hard to hear? Yep. That's why I originally started to form my ears. Hard to understand. Yeah, like they don't know how to balance fucking sound for shit, or they make it so that the people could be whispering one second, so you turn up the volume, and then next second there's something loud, and it goes like your fucking speakers. Like, they're bad at their job. Love Literally, this sound. video pat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it's good to have my opinions, um, you know. I watch a lot of movies on the train, at home, and a lot of movies on the app. But no matter where I'm watching, I find myself constantly doing this one thing. I think so. You can't read their lips either. <laughs> it turns out this is an Corn onion. Colon we blow. polled our YouTube audience, and about 57% of people said that they feel like they can't understand the dialogue in the things that they watch unless they're using subtitles. But it feels like this hasn't always been the case. Very 90s. So to figure out what was going on, I made a call. Hi, uh, my name is Austin Olivia Kendrick. Okay, I'm not watching this whole video. Who drew that? But yeah, it's uh, definitely a thing now, especially because of bad <clears throat> mixing. All right, if you need more sulfur, let me know. I found the place. It's right under my base. I forgot it was here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad mixing. TLDR, it's because they only do one mix, and that's a mix for theaters which doesn't sound the same on your yeah. home system or headphones. Okay, bad mix. Yeah. <laughs> Not our fault, our, our speakers aren't cranked up to 11. You know? <laughs> we get punished for it, which is bullshit. Damn it, hey, uh, Pat, did you want to come here and get more sulfur? Um, Fuck I don't really need it right now. Okay, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why your mom doesn't fucking love you. <laughs> hmm. David Bowie and Pat Benatar. <laughs> Damn, Firefox. I'm what? Scared. Pat Benatar? <laughs> oh no. Hey, Patrick. What? 
think they just keep saying Pat Benatar. Oh, I see. So the game, pitch. The link is, you know. Well, the link. So, there's the, there's the link there. Between me and Pat Benatar. It's literally in the name. Just me. Yeah. You know who I am. <laughs> I'm gonna be a pal master. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> the seeds to get ah speed. That's what the gun's for. You can't get your ass beat if you got a gun. And that's what she said. Hmm. And then I beat her ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Nice. <laughs> yes, very wrong. Has a feel to be so wrong. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh God, no. What? What? What is this blue ore? Pal. Oh, it is Palgan. Ah, uh, Wendigo made a video on Sky King. What the fuck? What's Sky King? Oh, wait. Sky King. Sky King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me a second. Fly high, Sky King. Just, uh, you know, remember to fly down at some point. <laughs> I mean, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Flew down pretty hard. I don't know, if that's how you wanted to go out, I mean, sucks for whoever on the plane, but I get it. <laughs> it was dude shit. That's it. <laughs> you mean Air Alaska? Yeah, I'm sure fucking one plane was like, uh, un... un, un I don't, I'm it. not, I'm not serious about it being sucky, but you know what I mean, like, you know. I don't give a shit about their feelings. Or their wallet. Where <laughs> would you write that? I'll never run a plane. I'll never make that much money. Even if I made that much money, I ain't buying a plane. That's expensive. Unless it's an F-16. If I ever have a chance to own a civilian version of an F-16, I would. That'd be an awesome plane to own. I think it was... You're a lucky, I think. Oh, wait, no, I think that's just their attacks. Mm. Yep. Uh. <gasps> One day I'll get this artisan mammarist. Yeah. <laughs> mammarist. Uh. Sounds like it has something to do with you. <sighs> I'm a memorist. I check titties. <laughs> Alright, I got four fuddlers now. Go me. Wow. Tried to save you. What are you wowing? 
I forgot that while Windigoon himself isn't necessarily a problem, problematic individual, uh, I know that he his audience, in much in a similar vein to sort of, I guess, to the internet historian, uh, there is a certain subsect of individuals who enjoy his content. What? You got the normies and you've got like the... Uh, it really resonated with me when Bebo Russell said, yeah, Nah, I'm a white guy. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck does that even mean? Oh, I mean, he was Normal implying that. Normal person and they're just like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, his 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 stance on the whole thing was uh, that affirmative action fucked him out of a job, which, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Um, all I was trying to do is equality. Well, I mean, look, I'm not going to argue one way or the other on that one. It's <laughs> it's, it's it's a good thing for the most part. Yeah. However, as a result, sure, maybe some people do get fucked over by. It. Um, who aren't necessarily, you know, the chosen. <laughs> you For lack of a better term that, that I can think of. <laughs> God's own chosen people try their hardest, alright? <laughs> talking about Jewish people? Like, <laughs> no, that's, what you, that's what I thought you were talking about. <laughs> no! <laughs> I meant just like, you know, the people who are uh, hired yeah. due to affirmative action. Uh, uh, that, it, like, it's not an issue. I don't see it as an issue at all. It's just that there is, I imagine, it, you know, some people miss out because of it that would otherwise have gotten the job. But, I mean, it's just, it is what it is. I don't really yeah. give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, time to go beat the boss and get the fuck out of here. If you want sulfur, now's the time. I've always felt like on the one hand, I'd be what? glad I got a good job, but I think I'd also be upset that I got hired just based on my skin color and not solely my talent. Which does well, the same that, thing with uh, veterans, we're actually tax cut, so a lot of companies will hire us for a couple months just to get the tax squared right off. It's, uh, people wouldn't hire someone just because they're a minority. They would also be good at their job. Like, that's yeah. the whole thing, right? People. People miss. People see one thing and go, "Oh, they got hired because they're black." Well, no, they're still good at their job. Like, yeah. You could just you could just accept they're good at their job and they were chosen because they're good at their job. There might be some ulterior motive as well for uh, hiring them, but I mean. Yeah, you'd still be qualified, but the primary reason is the color of your skin if it's affirmative action. It's possible Except, you wouldn't have been hired without what? that. Nowadays there yeah, are... Yeah, but, but you never know. You don't, you don't know. Like, that's the whole thing. You just, you just don't know. So you just have to assume that they were hired because... Yeah, you don't know. I just think that's how I feel. So what's it like being Asian and having Tourette's in America? Do you get a lot of jobs? <laughs> Well, actually, to be honest, I imagine on the basis of her disability. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, she probably wouldn't get that many job offers. I was just curious if she ever tried to get jobs, like, back in the day. More than anything. Back in the day. The good old days. Yeah, before she Like, I don't like the meat. idea of being the token minority in a company they're hiring just to check a box on a checklist, you know. Yeah. That's how it feels sometimes when I get a job. Oh, veteran. Easy. We're gonna hire you and fire you in three months. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> what job? You're working in security. That's literally well, all now. Parents. But I'm it's, talking it's about back literally when all I used veterans. To work. No, no, no. When I used to work like uh, warehouse work and stuff like that, they were real shitty. They'd hire you on for like three, four months and fire you for no reason. And it's also one of those things that doesn't exist. And like, I mean, I I can only assume, say from my own perspective, but like, affirmative action isn't a thing here. <laughs> yeah. People just get hot. Like I mean, there, yeah, there would be there would be unconscious here, right? bias. Yeah, well, yeah, because well, Americans are fucking racist. <laughs> like, <laughs> from one racist to another, yeah, you guys are fucking <laughs> racist. <and> shit. <laughs> like You're unconscious bias obviously exists in New Zealand, and there is racism towards others. And white people definitely aren't racist here, but you know, I work with tons of Maori people. I work with uh, South Africans. I work with. Is that why you're always of, singing uh, a South African song? Yep. 
<laughs> no. No, the South Africans I work with are actually really nice people, so... I, <laughs> okay. uh, Just had to make sure. They, 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 are, they are the uh, mystical nice South African. <laughs> I'm a nice South African. <laughs> Trying the best I can. <laughs> Alright, I'm finally out of the dungeon. Never met a nice South African. But that's not bloody surprising, man. Because we're a bunch of ignorant assholes who hate black people. Imagine hating black folks. That's gotta take some serious work. You got some serious going, is there, brother? Um, where am I trying to go? Alright, I'm gonna AFK in my bed at my mining outpost while I go take care of some responsibilities. <laughs> responsibilities. Responsibilities. What a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that funny? It's like cackling. Back. Yeah, come on, yeah. relax. <laughs> well, I was just watching something with C2. I know. That's fun to Damn, think that, that was funny. a good joke, apparently. It was. <laughs> I'm sleeping. You should sleep too. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were. Give me one second. I'm right near my base. I just like the, the gibberish. <laughs> Oops, all Kobe. <laughs> I'm six feet from the edge. Bruce the teeth, kids. Talk a doodle chomp. I can't believe I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> I mean, Brady finally being able to completely go off. We love Dwayne Brady. I'm glad he stopped playing sports. For no other reason than because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Combat music's loud as fuck sometimes. Face is turning red. He's he's really going for it. <laughs> His face is turning really red. You guys watching? Uh, We're in. What is it like? Taskmaster. Uh, it's a panel. Make some noise. Make some noise. It's a panel. Oh.
Serious house. Like her old one or a new one? Her new one, I guess? It's like production stuff here and the house is different. Is it up north? <laughs> no, it's like near my place. Kind of. Oh yeah, it is. It's just changed so much that I fucking didn't see it. I don't have a Christmas song stuck in my head right now. The hell, brain. That damn combat music still happening <laughs> in my face. Oh, this clip! I've seen this clip. <laughs> yeah. Marvel right 
<laughs> She's like, I fucked it, I'm gonna keep going. Come on, I'll pick you up, you fuck. That's rude. <laughs> I 
I can finally make my metal armor. <laughs> oh, server's gone. Shit, seriously. Yep. Yeah. Well, it is about that time that that would happen, so. Go us. <laughs> Dude, there's no YouTube app on the fucking Apple Vision Pro. The fuck? <laughs> That clip out of context would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I got a be good stick now. Going, all right, all right, how, where am I going to go from here? <laughs> what?
Oh, cool. The new metal armor looks awesome. Nice, I got shoes. <laughs> now I just need to cover the other shoulder and we'll be good. Grabbing naps, or are we staying up? Uh, I'm just gonna plant my shit and then I'm gonna get up. Yeah. What about you, Cortana? Naps are staying up. Since she was going out okay, so oh, okay. You, you probably you you can't go say, away anyway. That's fine. I'm just selling things to the trader, anyways. Since I was able to upgrade my gear to metal. Seems to have seen crap. <laughs> oh no! Queuing on Santa. <laughs> <laughs> What? 
check on that egg. I am back. Welcome back. I'm front. About 37 minutes left on my Anubis and uh, building my Anubis statue now for funsies. Setting up my roof. Did your Anubis hatch yet? Nope, 37 minutes. We're getting close. It was an hour and 37 minutes once I hit night. <laughs> I was like, damn. Alright. See, I'd say whatever we set the egg timer to, it's pretty good so far. It's not me waiting five fucking real, real life days for one egg, which is nice. I've upgraded to metal armor now, so that's sweet. Right, cool. You're being Santa with like Tommy Wiseau as Santa. <laughs> right. Tommy Wiseau.
Oh, okay, my attacks use up stamina when I'm mounted. Okay. That makes so much more sense. I was like, why the hell can't he attack? <laughs> the move says it's uncooling. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case, green. Thank you for that fall. Welcome, mobile infantry trooper. Now you're one of us. you mount while you're falling? Yes. Okay, not if you're mounting a fucking dumbass. I can't figure out how to go down a hill. It's literally just sitting there like an idiot. Yeah. Try some. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yep. Okay, yeah, it kind of <laughs> works. It's just janky as hell. The new armor and everything feels really good. Oh no. Oh, okay, there it goes. That worked a little better. <laughs> so, uh, there we go. Battlefield, the next Battlefield game has been announced for 2025. Yeah, I saw that. I bet like, somewhere they're not gonna suck as well. Uh, <laughs> kind of gonna suck. Supposedly, 20, the one from what, 2022? Just got uh, finished. Oh, yeah. Fixed, so it's good enough to play now. 2021. I'll try 2021. Oh, sorry, my bad. So the one from three years ago that wasn't that good. What? Dude, minimum wage is going up again. Fuck me. <laughs> That means you're gonna get a pay raise. Yeah. First, right? I was already getting a pay rise. Now you can get more. No, I just we... feel like I'm getting my I'm getting I'm getting my distance away. You know. Oh, you're starting to become one of us poors. Oh, well, I'm only just at the median wage when I get my pay increase. 
you know, I feel I'm I'm Joe Average, which is fantastic. Like I'm glad that I'm there, but uh-huh. It's gonna get further away because everyone's gonna get a pay increase mm. and the, the median's gonna increase. So I'm I'm sure. always gonna be just behind the curve. Yep. You're only one injury away from losing your house. <laughs> Well, some my house, but sure, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but it sounds like I'm gonna be moving into my parents anyway, so. Like, if it saves you money and you get to keep more of your paycheck, I see yeah. that's a win. Well, that's yeah. essentially what my plan is, is that for, I don't know how long, less than a year, but long enough, I'm gonna save a metric fuck ton of money. And, uh,. And, and probably buy a new car. Remember, or... fleet vehicles are nice and cheap because they have new engines, but they've driven like 70,000. Yeah, I don't want a car that's going to break down immediately. It's not going to, because it's got a new engine in it. It's not how fleet cars are treated here. Oh, well, that's how we do them. That yeah. fucking little cheater. There you go. Yeah. 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 Apparently, no one would ever thought of the answer. Yeah. Pairing, exes, losing aroma. Have to find a partner, which is called the. Uh, or any of the other dozens of mechanisms in place to manage here. Or getting options. I'm not. I'm not pressing. I'm not pressing my push attack button because you've just sapped the energy out of me. You killed him, 3D. I, I, I see that article and be like, led by a 22-year-old former Drexel student. And like, you know, if I could click the article, I would. I want to find the magic word. You know the magic word? Parents. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Can I get I, insurance for the blackjack table? Hmm. I wish I had oh. the kind of money that those kids that had money. Reinventing credit default swaps. What could possibly go wrong? I mean. Hey, this time it's all at the retail level. Lloyd That'll go London great. Will probably uh, ensure your Vegas trip. No, it is south. Okay. Wait, that dude had crossed eyes. Okay, I don't want to judge too much, but oh my lord, that does not fill you with confidence. You're like, hey, all your money is gonna be in this guy's hand. What does he look like? Yeah, we're cross-eyed. Yeah, like. Got a picture? <laughs> you invest half your life savings in Carvana in 2021. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, sure. Here, here you go. Here, let me just uh, just go. Uh, yeah, there you go. <gasps> a, a buying GM. Uh, we can just uh, deposit this on your. Wow. Yeah. Here's your little, uh, Don't you resist me. Does he look like this? That's the neat part. This is why I drive Grandma's car to the store. Ah, oh, Honda's... Oh, I've seen that guy. Honda Civic SS? You don't look okay, handicapped. <laughs> I fucking love that video every time oh, I see it. It's auction. I'm gonna sell crypto insurance. Oh god, you'd make so much money, and then you can rug pull, and it's not illegal. <laughs> I don't know, have they made it illegal? I mean, uh, for insurance fraud is a thing, so... I meant, I meant for crypto, because crypto's not real in the first place. You know? Oh, that's fucking funny. Lord, as an insurance agent, when NFT first dropped, I was flooded with calls like this. Nice. Oh my god. Uh, Finally, I'm actually getting more. calls from people who want to get their fucking... Crypto insured. Dude, NFT insured. Fuck. Insured how? What kind of damage can it possibly get? Come on, guys. <sighs> Details matter, but not being an idiot matters more. Hmm. 
I've been considering an afterlife insurance comp company. It's quite possibly the only way to make sure you get where you want in the afterlife. And so does, <laughs> now this is in the Silicon Valley reinventing buses group. So to reply, reinventing religion. Re reinventing selling indulgences, which is actually a more accurate. I was going to say, yeah, uh, Catholic indulgences. Yeah, you give them 20 bucks and suddenly they're like, yeah, you're forgiven. No, no shit. You're great. <laughs> yeah, the... The Tech theses will be the posted to change.org. <laughs> there he goes. There's a good summary you see, too. Tech Bros watched The Big Short and said, What a swell idea. Big Short? I guess that's about, like, uh... The Big uh, Short is about the, the is about the people that saw the crash coming. Yeah. And made money. Oh and my god, Elite... Amounts of money. Elite Dangerous is getting four new ships. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, too, How old is that game now? Yeah, I was gonna say. Just make a second Elite Dangerous at this point. This is what? worse than reinventing credit default swaps. This is reinventing portfolio insurance. One of the main accelerants of the 1987 crash. Moral hazards? Never heard of it. How the hell can't I access the goddamn smelter? the fuck away, it's already done. What do you mean this 2015 Mitsubishi is only in 135 plays? That's possible. Improbable, but possible. You know, it's a shame, but... Like, made a small minivan that they didn't sell here. And they should have. It looks great. The only problem is that you wouldn't be able to buy one used anymore without people making jokes about it. Making what's about it? Jokes. Oh. It's the Honda Step Wagon. Step Wagon? <laughs> Why do they call it that? You're not my real wagon. Well, I mean, it's actually, like, it basically, it's basically a minivan, but I think the notion is it's like a station wagon that you step into. It's got sliding doors. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, you can also normal. fold those seats. You can also fold all of the back, both of the because it's got two rows of rear seats. You can fold all of the rear seats flat and make a big bed to keep in when yeah, you're that's, camping. That's actually pretty average for our our vans here. Look, but now nowadays, if you bought one used, everyone would just be going, "What are you doing, step wagon?" Like, <laughs> time to go anywhere. Oh, I, I sort I sort by lowest K's, and I go, "Oh yeah, that makes sense." Some of these things have got really low kilometers. I realized that people, instead of doing, you know, 3,000, 196,000 kilometers, they're just saying 196. Yeah. It's like when they list the price and they're actually listing the lease cost, and then I want to fucking, like, kill them and take over my lease. Sometimes it's used, used car, used car dealerships selling on the personal I've section. I've seen people they do personal that. used cars on Craigslist. Yeah. I report every single one that I run into because fuck them. Say it's illegal, fuck them hard. It? Fuck them. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck fucking you die. Fuck you in stupid face. <laughs> I'm gonna rape your dog. I don't know. What did my dog do? <laughs> it knows. What? I like my new beatdown stick, by the way. The shock stick. You your great. penis? No, the oh. shock stick. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, just two tap the uh, pal, and then once it's electrocuted, throw a fucking ball at it. I just I just attack them from the back of my um, uh, electric horse, and it does the oh, same thing. Too. Yeah. That's smart, too. <laughs> That's. That's wicked smart. All right, CJ, I'm gonna put something in the audio channel because it's some audio foolery, audio tom foolery. Look at that! Look at that build quality. Uh, I think my favorite part is that lower electrolytic where the leads are nearly shorting out against themselves. <laughs> what? Yeah. But like, did they just hold all the components together and huh. just like dip their soldering <laughs> iron in a bucket of solder and then sneeze over it? You know. <laughs> I mean, there is a, there, like, that's, how do I put this, I've seen worse for solder spatter, it's mostly flux spatter, and that's not the end of the world. What's concerning me is they've clearly melted part of the, the insulation on the bottom of the, the old chemico Nippon Chemicon cap on the, on the right. Uh, you can see where the insulation melted, where the iron went in. 
they've crammed everything together uh, up into, the, into there. And then they just like went, oh right, another capacitor has to fit somewhere in there. Now, now if it were me, if it were me and I had only this much space to work in, right? It ain't me. It I think I probably would have gone for putting both of the electrolytics next to each other and move that uh, that nice vitreous enameled um, uh, resistor made by IRC uh, to the other yeah, end of the leg so it stood vertically, anymore, right? so it still had ventilation. And then you probably could have packed those two caps in next to each other, maybe even like used a, a self-stick pad and zap strap them to the chassis, and at least it would have something resembling a layout. Um, but this is going to cause like, a, a full-on fucking fire, because like, <laughs> that, that electrolytic is just being held in place by happy thoughts and the grace of God. <laughs> How dare you be so now, honest. When my girlfriend said she was going to buy an electric rabbit, this wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, <laughs> dirty. It is dirty. Oh god. It's weird. What's weird? The rabbit. The electric Last rabbit. Wee rabbits. Ooh. Hey, who doesn't want an electric rabbit? Uh... Man, I just want to see this somewhere. Didn't, am I sure I didn't see this in a Discord? I don't. I don't know. I didn't post it. If you did. Hmm. Oh look, it's Bumblebee. It's Meth Bumblebee. Meth up Bumblebee. What? Meth bee. <laughs> meth bee. <laughs> Real meth stuff. Methany. <laughs> now, it hasn't all had all the copper wire stolen out of it. <laughs> okay. This okay. is this is this is alcohol and whippets Bumblebee. Ah, you're right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is this is absentee absentee father Bumblebee. <laughs> this is, he, you know what? He's the one who was supposed to pick up Vic. Who's Poor old Vic? Santa sitting there waiting for, waiting to go fishing with Dad. Um, oh God, it's raining. I could have yeah. Look at that that, that uh, Volkswagen Rabbit. I could have swore someone linked linked that in the Discord and was just like, I need to find someone that can go get this. <laughs> Actually no, maybe it wasn't on Discord. Maybe it was on. Maybe it was on. Maybe it was on. Uh, hmm. I want to say the other thought that came to mind was maybe in the replies hey, to something it. that Aging Wheels posted, and someone was like, "I need to find someone that can get over to, to Hayward and fucking buy <laughs> this for me, because I can't get out there anytime soon." Like now, that, when it was new, it had a range of 25 miles. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Days, I'm gonna man. I only have two more rents to pay. Oh, and then you're done? Because you, I'm, I'm a week ahead. Rents for oh. what? Your house? Yeah. Now, 3D, Is I have bad? Like... one question about this car. And it's a very specific question. I have three weeks left to leave, but... That's what I mean, okay. Are you All right, ready I, I've crossed my eyes, so I can't read the title until it's loaded. I'm going to take my it, hand away and it's look It's not in the title. Now. I need to stop packing my shit up when I need to be. I have a gear last. I shovel well. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna start packing up some of my computer stuff. Come on, how often can I drop a mystery man? Mystery <laughs> man reference. <laughs> Read the odometer in the right hand. It's a diesel, isn't it? Uh huh. Yep. New 1.6 head, rings done. Well, it should be good for another 500. <laughs> Admittedly, the Volkswagen, the Volkswagen Rabbit. The, as much as I love to dunk on on, uh, on Volkswagen and German autos in general, the Volkswagen Rabbit diesel has a bit of a reputation for um, you know possibly be, possibly being what they should have been putting in German tanks in World War II, because the bitch just doesn't die. 
<laughs> I mean, read the read the second to last line and listen. God, this <laughs> He's all there, bro. Buying white cars. Will not bring, will not win. Will not win any beauty contests. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know. There's something really striking right on the hood. I just love the idea I that they like. Hell yeah. they, they, you know, they must have probably done like some pat, some uh, touch up paint to fix mm -hmm. some some rust or something, and they're just like, you know what? Let's just fucking be, be weird about it. So the whole hood has been painted because it's already it's, it's two color, and then they have this. Did you? Did you look at what it says on the windshield? Bummer. Yes. Yes. What? It's in the same font as Hummer as well. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. There's, just, there's so much going on, I love it. Wins all the beauty contests in my mind. Biggest capacitor I've ever held. Okay. Santacon CD13N. 350 volts at 15,000 microfarad. Microsieverts. That's a 15 farad 300 volt capacitor. 350 volt capacitor. Millisieverts. That has enough. Sorry. That has enough fancy pixies in there to put you in the fucking ground. <laughs> so, what's a millisievert compared to a rad? <laughs> okay. Is it or no? Is it the rad actual <laughs> measurement? I don't know. That's why I was yeah. asking. I just remember it being in Fallout, and I was like, how accurate is that? What a is a rad? A millirad is 10 millisieverts. Oh, okay, so that means it's really bad. Once you start reading it in rads. Uh, I mean, in, in the miller range, no. What was I watching? The dude was Whole checking rads. plates and stuff yeah. with a radiation detector. And uh, he has the, the radium color. glass, whatever it is. Yeah, there was radium glass, and it was like you know, barely a blue Ra uh, compared to brew. maybe I don't know. But I, he I, pulled out this I watched plate. A few of no, 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 no. radioactive Steve. Yeah, I watched a few of his videos, <laughs> and then I noticed a pattern where he would go to a place and then just start complaining about the EPA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably not the guy I watched, but um, white kid. Ended up grabbing like this, uh, it was a dinner right plate that plate. was like orange. Oh, okay, then yeah. yeah. And he had like the square shaped Geiger counter. Uranium oxide. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he had a uranium nice rock too, orange. which I was just like, why the fuck do you have that in your house? Yeah, you buy uranium <laughs> rock. I, I still love, love the meme of the, you know. This this thing makes my camera go funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'm recording this. <laughs> the and uranium my camera's... rod, just like yeah. It's a cobalt so good. sixty rod. Yeah. Just, the one <laughs> the camera's dropping. I think there's made a. I think someone made a three D printed model of that. Yeah. What's this blue glitter? I would actually. I don't, oh my god! Look what someone did to this fucking poor Prius. Mm. It's poor in the, in the sense that it's already Prius, but then just, oh god. Yeah, like fluffy bed. Uh, you talking about the uh, hubcaps or something else? Yeah, the, the alloys, the fucking alloys on there. Let it live in mediocrity, don't try and make it cool. <laughs> it's cruel to do so. Honestly, honestly, <laughs> I, 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 would want air, I would want arrow rims on that. Because, I mean, shit, you, you're that aerodynamic, you might as well just live with it. That, that's Embrace what, it, yeah. That, that's what you do. You get some like, uh, you get some old Saab arrow rims because they'll actually look cool, but it'll still look kind of weird and goofy. Saab what? spelled S O B because that's what you'll be doing. Hmm? You're gone now. 
<laughs> my my grandmother used to drive a Saab. Saab, dude. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. Apparently, it was a <gasps> god awful car according to my dad. So. <laughs> I don't know what happens if I break that. Dude, 2015 was a long time ago, huh? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, stop, right? stop reminding me. Yeah, stop I was reminding like, you me. Okay? I don't want to think about it. That's the year Nine I got years ago. God. The emotional God. damage. I've been out for I'm almost looking at cars and I go, after. these cars are practically brand new. Why are they so cheap? <laughs> 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 Fuck, these cars are 10 years old. Jesus Christ. He's He's hurting like his own feelings. It's like buying a car from 1991 in the year 2000. You're like, yeah. oh, oh no. Well, to be fair, to be fair, cars have like plateaued. In a lot of cars are like computer hardware. You, like if you if you if you don't need anything particularly specialized, they you, yeah they, they, they last longer than they used to. Rust proofing's better. As long as it's not from Japan, really. it'll be fine. You don't need to wear an armband every time you work on your computer anymore. You mean like physically from Japan, not like. As a, as an as in a Japanese imported vehicle, it'll yeah. be fine. Why, what's wrong? Yeah. With, yeah, what's wrong with them? They uh, so they are very rust prone because a lot of them are near the sea slash snow on the roads slash salt things like that. Uh, oh, the transportation, of course, being through the ocean, uh, doesn't help. And the funny thing is, Japanese imports here have a good reputation. Because See, they, they're, they're so low miles that they're often in better shape. See, low miles, yes. Often low miles. But uh, they uh, have a terrible tendency to rust. Because rusting I... isn't an issue here. We, we don't get, like, rusting. It's because nice dry air. Well, we don't get dry air. It's just that we don't have... I meant compared to... We don't get, yeah. you know... You're not getting cold, hot, cold, well, hot. See, I think the, 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 actually, the, the other thing, too, is the paint. A lot of cars in New Zealand you get special paint because the UV is so much more intense here. Yeah, so you get oh, your paint. fucking ozone layer protection, fucking nerds. Yeah, we were the ones <laughs> that did that. <laughs> totally wasn't 80s America. It was actually, it was actually, no, 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 it was actually getting better. This summer's been really bad because of the, um, the, the Tonga volcano eruption that happened not that long ago. Sure. It, it blew a hole in the ozone layer. Nice. Oh, no. New hole. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so the ozone's really thin at the moment, and the hole. He changed lanes is without. Uh, he changed lanes without signaling. Well, right. so the hole, the hole <laughs> appears in summer down south anyway. Like we, we fixed the ozone, we fixed the hole because it's not there all the time. But in summer, the ozone gets really thin, and the hole reopens. And it's particularly bad she, this year. She plays peekaboo with you. Yeah, space is like hey. Up, girl. <laughs> oh, wow. Someone on Bring a Trailer is actually selling one of the 959. Or, nope, it's a tribute car. It's not an actual 959. Who would want tribute cars? That's like uh, cause. Like, like a, like a cum car. tribute? Uh, Dude, someone asking. A cum tribute car? For a Polaroid One Step, the very bare bones, very common early SX70 camera. Okay, oh, one it. digit or two digits? Nope. Uh, it includes an aftermarket um, strobe lamp. So we, I guess what that's is... nice and all. And I feel like it's crashing soon. Aftermarket these nuts. Uh, so care to guess the price? One thirty. Nope. Higher? Higher? Two fifty. Higher? Higher. And it's Ingram. just the camera and the strobe light. The camera, strobe, the leatherette case, and the manual. Four? Nope. 350. Fuck, no. I know. It's like, the, bitch, that's like fully functional SX70 in great condition sort of pricing. You could get an actual, a, a working SX70 in rough shape for less. Oh what yeah, hey pretty, when you send me a good digital camera? <laughs> it's been my birthday at least three times. <laughs> you pay me five. Oh, and I threw VR at him, that Why counts. Is he awake? <laughs>
Hey, you always help that thrift shop out. Now and again, see if they got good cameras. <laughs> I'll just screw them and send it to fucking beer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll pay for shipping. It's gonna be an arm and a leg anyways. Not really. It's Canada. Everything always sounds super expensive whenever 3 talks about shipping. I don't trust low mileage cars that are old. This makes me think it's done nothing but city miles the entire time. Yep. Yeah, but do you guys it, really have metropolitan like, there like you do here? Oh uh, yeah, I mean a lot of people never leave the city. Hey, there's a lot of city mile driving to do in uh, Auckland. Yep, the whole it's the most sprawled city per capita in the world. Come, all you fuckers with hammers. Help oh. spread the word. You better stop sending me reels from that Instagram account. What Instagram account? Is it the Wonder Chosen one, or is it the, the Nazcom no, no. one? No, I'm talking about the cum one. That's <laughs> <laughs> the cum one. Pat, you need to share an example It's called. It's called Nazcom. <laughs> What the fuck is that? Alright, yeah, send me I'll, an I'll find, I will find an example of it, hang on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's my favorite, it's, honestly, it's my favorite Instagram account. <laughs> it's got cum as well, huh? Well, it's in the title. You know, it's... What? <laughs> I love the Wonder Chosen clips, though. I forgot Wonder they showed Chosen this. Wonder Chosen is so fucking weird. Okay, right, hang on. I said disability mode, but it says fucking disassembly mode. I was like, ooh, just dis disabled mode. Nice. Shit. Am I robotting or is that him? Nah, I'm robotting I again. Yeah. Yep. 40% target loss. Okay, well, click my shit. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh -huh, click no, my they shit. Have time. All right, there better be cum involved. No, he's coming behind you. Come with him. He sees him. Does he ain't come? That's going to be the question. I would he come. Does. Yeah, there you go. I love that I move. Come. You know he's coming behind you. Come with him. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Literally the entire it's not Instagram even... account is yeah. just when people say come. And it's... it's not even that bad, but it's like, <laughs> pretty funny. You know, if the guy's coming behind you, you might as well come. <laughs> like... This is logic I can get behind. <laughs> Fuck. She comes after a vicious licking. <laughs> Alright, Pat, is this. Does this tickle your pickle? I like when my pickle gets tickled. Uh, dude, I'm not really a ricer. It looks uh, nice, but like. Ricer? Only ten, ten uh, it's US dollars. It, and it's six days left. Yeah, I was gonna say that's gonna go for a lot of money. But the one we mutually creamed over went for only eighteen. Only eighteen. That wonderful little fucking Isuzu. Yeah. Only eighteen grand. That's unfortunate. It's clean too. Yeah. There's like nothing wrong with it. It looks beautiful. Do with handiwork. Hey, you! Stop watering. Sound make you stop too. watering. Mm -hmm. Help. You could be hungry later, you fuck. If I look at an S13 in New Zealand, how much am I looking at here? Okay, people have done up their S13s, I don't think that counts. Uh, let's find one that's just, uh, neglected. Five grand. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh, okay. It's it's an S. It's an S fifteen. It's not an S thirteen Sylvia, but it's an S fifteen. It's a Sylvia. Five grand. It's done three hundred and forty-two thousand kilometers. Two thousand and one. Nineteen eighty eight Nissan Silvia S thirteen. Oh, rolling body only. Okay. That's going for twelve what grand. What rolling body mean? Use the engine no work. Oh. Well, there's no engine in it probably. More than anything. So it's really a drift car and they've blowed the engine on it and they're selling it. Imagine being so shit with your little fucking hobby car. 1994. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of blow, do you want to do massive quantities of it while driving to the board meeting? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah, me and fucking Tony Soprano jacking each other off. It's a two door with suicide doors and like a red suede interior. Can't stand suicide how, doors. How we had horrible. some vehicles with them in the army. And it's called unalive doors. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We gotta call them unalive doors now. But yeah, growing up, in, like you know, you get used to certain kinds of doors, and then you fucking run into suicide doors with certain. What vehicles in the oh, wait, US no, army had suicide, suicide doors? This isn't just suicide doors. Sorry, it's uh, it's just normal Falcon doors. Falcon doors. Just huge. <laughs> what doors in the US army with suicide? Um, we had the, I think it was the LMTVs or one of the other transport vehicles. The doors open, you know, front open, and then you jump forward instead of, you know, backwards like you normally would. What is a suicide door? For Sorry, us, it means it opens on the right instead of the left. Normal doors open on the way towards the back of the vehicle. These would open towards the front of the vehicle. You don't know what a suicide door is. Okay, then maybe you're talking about something different. It's what we called suicide doors. Yeah. Oh, that is it. Yeah, what the fuck am I thinking about then? Okay, fuck. Don't worry. Look, ignore me. I'm being oh, a right? fucking. Un <laughs> yeah, I'm being an uneducated moron again. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a rare win for me. I will collect this W. Put it with my treasures. The other three. <laughs> you treasure this. <laughs> it's rare. <laughs> I was thinking of scissor doors. The fuck's a scissor door? That one you're oh, gonna have to that We just got a little pop up that said, Beard will remember that. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dobby has. <laughs> Dobby's been given a, a W. Dobby's free. Dobby's been given a dub. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm doing that thing where I stay up good late again. You have work tomorrow? Man, this house is feeling yep. like something out of Game of Thrones. Dude, don't get raped by a family member now. I was gonna crazy. say, now you're gonna... <laughs> you're gonna get red wedding, too. <laughs> We're gonna figure out how to turn on PvP. <laughs> it's a nice day. I mean, that'll be up to you guys to do to me. That's what I said. The game's gonna make us do it though. It's gonna be like an objective at that point. Oh, hey, Cortana, is your base the one with the. Uh, uh, do you have an extra base anywhere other than the one you're building? Yes. And you have the old one. Is there a third? I have a mining base in the jungle area. To my west? By the uh, no. black market guy? Whose fucking base is that? That's Dragon. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. I'm like, this must be Dragon's base. And somehow he's higher level than all of us. He's like level 46. I mean, I think you're the only one near him in level... How can you tell he's 46? 
Uh, one of the items to put down, or one of the things in the area. It's a level 46 item. It was. Oh, maybe it was. Maybe it was 44. It was like an electric furnace or something that he had down. I forget what it was. I'd have to go back over there. But yeah, he has some fucking high level shit. And I'm just like, what the fuck? How is he out doing, you know, Miss No Life herself? Like, what the fuck? Must be cracked out of his mind. Just fucking gets off work from doing Well, to be shit. fair, I've spent like two solid days building and not leveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I mean. Like, it's nothing against you. It's more something against him. <laughs> yep. Need more nails, boys. Unless you don't like having beds. Hmm? I keep forgetting you just press T to open up the technology menu. Technology! Tech! Knowledge! Oh, that's what it was. The decal gun. So he's at least level 42. He has a decal gun. Because he put a PAL decal on the side of one of his uh, structures. And I was like, I don't see any other way to do that other than that. He's already gotten past level 36, so he has a large pal bag. And then, I think he's level 42, not 46. So you gotta start, start leveling real quick, just to hit 50 before him. I mean, I'm 43. What? Yeah, you gotta outdo him. You gotta win. Doing it for all of us. <laughs> Alright, two more beds. I've got a Perspex trophy for five years' service, and the HR lady was a bit annoyed when I pointed out I'd been there for seven. <laughs> One of my co workers, their employee anniversary thing popped up, you know, like, on like the, the, there's like the monthly newsletter for the company. Yeah. And there's like a bug that says you've been there for like 9,700 years. <laughs> <laughs> Some good old office banter. <laughs> Welcome to your forever home, lady. <laughs> Pick up. What? Silo for all my goddamn tortillas. A silo full of tortillas. I keep thinking that's the dude from the Predator movie every time I hear it. Jesse Ventura? Yeah. I just feel like that would be him when he gets old. He's just talking like that. Got a silo full of tortillas. That's a joke about Jesse Ventura, so... Oh, is sure. it? Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. I couldn't remember who it was. I've got dogs. <laughs> got big fucking dogs. Pretty <laughs> hoo. 
Alright, where's the sad depresso? Where are you at, you fuck? Oh. Come here, you fuck. See you, ain't it? You look sad. No, you're right. There you go, see, that's for you. Slack. I get it. Yeah. It's also like, why? Those aren't small spots. Back to level. Wait, wait, wait. Here, <laughs> Look at all that space for you to pull all the trolleys and build a trolley ring around it. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's the kind of dashboard I'm looking for. I, that's the kind of dashboard I'm talking about. Chevrolet Cavalier. Okay, the tachometer. Oh. You're fucking, you're flying a fighter jet with that thing. <laughs> You'd be like, wow. Oh, that soft top's fucking horrid though. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, take the, take the hubcaps off of that and put it on the Prius. Oh yeah. You'd look almost like that, uh, that, what was that Gen 1 electric car? The... The one I made the documentary about. Oh, the EV one? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I had similar hubcaps, right? I mean, I think it just had, like, the low-drag black one. Hmm. When he starts looking at the damn, uh... Didn't they, like, forcefully take them off the roads? <sighs> they didn't sell... So... She... GM made the EV1 because California what? went, hey, make us an EV. Yeah. They didn't make a lot, and there was a constant wait list. What? And at the end of it, GM went, well, see, California, you were wrong. Nobody wants these. Nobody wants these. Yeah, they were like a genuinely and just affordable car too, right? Like they yeah, weren't even, it was yeah. like, like, I mean, the EVs we have now have better range and everything, but, like, it was a fine EV, especially yeah. for the Bay Area. I mean, it's but the, the 90s thing was, so. none of them were sold. They were all <gasps> leased. Ah, so they just recalled the lease. So then... when, so yeah. when the leases ran up, none of the owners actually owned their vehicle. And they took them back and they got them all. There are none absolutely. I remember watching the Toby Laker car and it's still Oh! Auckland Hospital power outage and the generators took 15 minutes to kick in. Oh, that's fucking scary. That's... You're dead by then. If you're on like a respirator um, and all shit. Of the, all the respirators have batteries. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I mean, even, even my call center had batteries. You know. <laughs> Quick, <laughs> someone cut their budget by 7%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dig it, current government. Uh, <laughs> Conservatives are in a constant state of complaining nothing works and then proceeding to make it worse and then go, see? <laughs> Fucking Alberta. Oh, the Albertan government. Don't worry, 3D. Holy No shit. side is right. We all suck. Uh, the funny Forget thing that. being as well... One side does out. nothing, but the other side does worse. 
which means nothing gets done and it's made worse. <laughs> Here, Pat, if you filtered by mileage, this would be accurate. What? What did it say? Only 220 miles? Yep. 220 Why? original miles. Why do you buy that and not drive it? This was an S. This was a 1999 F F-150 Lightning SVT. Yes. Special vehicle. Hmm. I don't know the, what that means. The suck fairy tits. <laughs> the Renault R5 Turbo One sold for a hundred forty-five thousand dollars. Yeah, I remember when you used to be able to get them for close for for a bit over twenty-five grand. If you could find one. But I did find you a delivery vehicle. Oh, yeah. Bam! Unimog, Unimog, does whatever a Unimog does. Basically, drive anywhere, because it's a Unimog. Hey there. Unimogs are, for days. Unimogs are responsible for the New Zealand Defence Force uh, damaging their new trucks really badly. Yep. But I Why? Because they were used vehicle. to the Unimogs? They used to Unimogs being able to go literally anywhere, so they just jumped in these new trucks and went, okay, let's drive. And they got all of them, like, dinged up. My boss what? was telling me about how they drove through... They took a convoy out, and you're just going through, you know, bumfuck nowhere on, on dirt tracks and stuff. They took... Four vehicles along this track. Uh, three of them went back. through the same hole and caved in like a huge chunk of the rear of the vehicle. The fourth one was the only one that stopped and went, I'm not going to go that way. <laughs> they nice. came back and all four of them were just like total lawless. That's hilarious. But also, C2, I... I'm, I'm, loving, I'm loving that US Air Force uh, M <laughs> M37. I feel what like I should Air be Force made... need a truck for? Well, what do you think they used to move bombs? <laughs> With the helicopter. Hmm. Russians there. do that. Well, I mean, sometimes <gasps> they need, sometimes they need to, to move uh, yeah, time traveling prisoners around. We don't really look the Russians as winners. Mm. I mean, who? But, I mean, what else is Lieutenant Hammond gonna drive? But Le Lieutenant, please. Ew. No, it's Luke. Ew, he's American. Yeah, what the fuck? But three D. I can't find a delivery vehicle. Hmm. <laughs> Wing a ding a ding a ding. Wing a ding a ding a ding a. Curse you, Ralph Nader! You son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah. That's, you have but, to. You have to. You have to shout that once a day. If you will <laughs> but unsafe I did find speed, you a vehicle dick. that you would not fit in. Oh no, I can fit in a Nash. Okay. You you can fit in a Nash Metropolitan. I've never sat in one, but I'm actually pretty sure I would fit. I mean, I I'm sure it was made to fit America. No, everything with else. No was scale bad. reference. Like with nobody in it, it does look like your knees would be up in this I I can check, but I remember I, I've seen Nash Metropolitans in person. What I'm saying is, it, it looks going, like a, it looks like a, a, a small car, like a, a, a car built to be smaller than a human. I mean, yeah, I it does have that look. It, it, it is hilarious because what you end up having is you end up having an American-sized seat and then, and then British-sized everything else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh yeah, the natural quality. Let's look at the gold yep. search. Okay, with a person in it, it looks normal. Oh, Very celebrating. <laughs> like the body yeah. that was just uh, all the time. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's a 50s car. <laughs> Fucking wrecked. It, I mean, yeah, they are, they are a hilarious car. Uh, they are... Like, the interior is big enough for a person. My my dad drove one hmm. once. He said it was a piece of shit. He said that the, uh, the three speed on... The three on the, the three on a tree, uh, shift was god-awful. Like, not he just... The, not this weird, Dad. Yeah, like, like, he said, like, the shifting pattern, like, he, like, he was hunting around for gears, 
And, and they're like, oh no, it works fine. And my dad's like, this thing is, this transmission sucks. <laughs> it's undrivable. <laughs> I'm used to quality. What the fuck is this shit? But also, I can understand why people would think that we were going to get flying cars after having seen these. Studebaker. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. That, those colors! Like, that's, that thing is, that's uh... a car you take on a road trip across New Mexico. That that's a good car to die in. <laughs> I, I would get into a gunfight in that car. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'd paint, change the paint, though, but, you know. Why would you change standards. that paint? Like a nice, uh... <laughs> nah, I'm thinking of, like, a red. Whoa. Nice hot salmon with tur to with it. the turquoise. Nah, I want I want red and black would look really good. Honestly. Ooh, everyone does that. Boring boomer paint. I was a boomer at the time. What year did that Let's car listen. come out? There's a there's a bunch of colors. Like, there's <laughs> a the boomers now all go for the same edgy colors. Oh, I ain't looking. We look edgy. at the color at, at the way they painted stuff back then at times. It was interesting and just like color palettes that they don't use anymore. You know, back before all cars were white, gray, and black. So, oh, see, about the F-150 with no miles on it. Some points out, you would've been better off putting it in the money in a high yield savings account. Oh my god, it's got a supercharged V8. Dinga dinga. Oh yeah, it'd be in a supercharged V8 putting out 150 that, Yeah, that's how it got up for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the, the least fuel efficient engine of all time. <laughs> the estimate was the end that uh, yeah. with a three speed automatic. <laughs> <laughs> long gear ratio. <laughs> very, very long. I can just hear it going. <laughs> We're at ten miles an hour. <laughs> 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 Honestly, if it's like a power, if it's like a power divide, it might just be like. <laughs> 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 really so, yeah, so you got one real quick gear, and then you got, you, got, you got like one off the line, and then like it really depends on how they stack. It, it might be just like it might just be gear, like fast, gear, fast first, second, and then. And then third is the one you ride out because you're doing quarter miles. So you just like acceleration, acceleration inside of that quarter mile, and nothing else matters after that. <laughs> so is it the radiator or something? No, it's just a little vestigial like thing on the front. <laughs> just, just guess. <laughs> like on the top of the hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has, little, it has a little propeller. Well, I mean, that was the. It was, style. It was the fifties. Studebaker, Studebaker was absolutely leaning in, no pun intended, to the to the uh, the look of fast airplanes from World War II. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you look at you look at any uh, any. I mean, why any, do they have fins? Look at any cars designer at that time. There's like massive implications of like jet planes and jet cars. And yeah. like... So someone did the math and figured out that that F-150 would probably sell for seventy to seventy-five grand. I mean, uh, how's that uh, dual? Car. What? Did you see the dual gear? Oh, Pat. Okay, I, I, no, I need to go to bed. I, I hey, can't stay up This is again. the last. This, okay. this Quick, is quickly. A car. Or two cars. Dual gear convertible. That looks smooth. Is what that looks like. What does it only have two gears? Um, actually. That's clean. That is actually a pretty good looking car. I will say the 1957 dual gear looks good. It actually is a two speed as well. The company was dual. It is it actually two speed. speed. It's a two speed power flight automatic, and that bitch was. Current uh, bid 265,000. With, with, with a 315 cubic inch Dodge V8. Damn. This is a. It's that much because this is a handcrafted, like, this is a Italian handcrafted Chrysler. Yeah, they, these things were numbered. 
and yeah, uh, Gear Design House built the you know, you know designed the bodies and so on. It uh, it has a uh, it has even a plate on the glove box. In Lovingly made for Phil. Yeah. Made especially for Stanley Saratoff Stan Dual Space Motors Corporation. League. But yes, this custom built dual gear motor car made especially for Stanley Scar and that's on his glove box. So the, the car company, the, this thing was made to order. Also, and I will never I, I mean I love I love how time was not fucking work is like the engine turned back. Yes. Also, serial number one two four. Oh yeah. damn. Nice. Don't ball. make a lot of them. Watch the video of that thing driving and it's slick. But it is with a, a, the two foot brake. It, it is two feet on the brake though, because it's four wheel drums. Yikes. Anyway, there you go, Pat. All right. I, I'm not saying I like I would want to change Back classic track. cars, but I would definitely improve the uh, stuff like. Brakes being drums and all that. Well, something shit. like that you don't improve. That's something like that you keep in a museum. But if you're building a hot rod, yeah, everyone puts disc brakes on. I like at least on the fronts. They make me happy. Disc brake conversions on the fronts have been a thing for like 50 years now. A uh, super capacitor powered regenerative system. <laughs> Only on an F1 car. Anyways, everyone knows that, everyone knows the money's in, in kinet car? uh kinetic energy or recovery system. Hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> they put those in F1 cars. Spin up a flywheel. It's yes. it's more efficient than a capacitor. Uh, but yeah, so someone worked out that that F one fifty low miles F one fifty would have gone for seventy to seventy five grand. If you put the money back in nineteen ninety nine in a high yield savings account, even if you only averaged five percent return um, you would have made uh, over a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> oh no! I need to get me a high yield savings account. If you, if you'd bought, if you'd bought um, 20, 30 grand of the S and P five hundred back then, uh, you'd have one hundred and eighty one grand today. Yeah, tire off it, but that is a nice chunk of change. But what are the smiles per gallon? Would you say smiles per gallon? Yeah. I don't want to drive a car unless the unless unless the steering column is threatening to go through my chest. <laughs> I, I want to live in the hot seat. I want my upper torso serrated by the steering wheel. I am a machine that turns <gasps> torsos into perforated <gasps> torsos. I have a 1950s steering belt, column. The seatbelt <laughs> I may not wear only goes across my lap. <laughs> I I got wait to shed in my pelvis sitting a brick wall at 50 miles an hour. <laughs> I am 50 steering column. 32,000 dead drivers. Pathetic. <laughs> yeah. Kill them all, I did it in 1955. I am the steering column man. You, you, know, you know what, uh, you know what the, uh, the old auto wrecker my dad knew when he was younger used to call Volkswagen, of course. The Beatles. Uh, Hitler's, <laughs> Hitler's revenge. <laughs> because, because as the auto wrecker would point out, he like in, in the auto wrecking yard, he point at each one and go, every one of these cars that's in the wrecking yard killed someone. Damn. And there were years that I could definitely believe it because there were even years where when they even when they had seat belts, they didn't work. Hmm? Like there's a yeah. yeah. there was apparently a, like a, a, a small overlap in years where. The design for the inertial reel belt, you know, so it locks when you suddenly come to a halt. Yeah. The inertial reel design was too slow. So you put your seatbelt on to be safe, and then when you get into an accident, your face smashes through the windshield, then it locks the seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. That's so stupid. But I mean, folks like Beatles in general, I mean, they look really cool, but they're pieces. Okay. Okay, imagine this for a moment. Imagine this you bought a car. And your windshield washer stops working. 
you, 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 you stop at a phone booth. You drop a dime, and you call your dealership, and you go, what gives? My windshield washer is my windshield washer isn't working. And the first thing they're going to ask you, do you know what they're going to ask you? Which one is that volcano? Does your spare tire have any air in it? Was that the compression? Yes. To... Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. That's so stupid. Because Volkswagen was so cheap, they didn't put an electric pump in it for the windshield washer. The air pressure from your spare pressurized the bottle full of washer fluid. What the fuck? So when you press the button on your us? dash, you are actually opening and closing a small, new, a, a small, just a, a, a faucet, essentially, that would then allow the, the, the it, what? So this is a I just see, story. like, you, 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 like, pull over, you bet, you're, like, flat tire, you get out, you fucking spears, fucking flat, <laughs> Yes, I, like, I do not understand any of the logic about this, but it gets better, of course, because, of course, the valve assembly is not all made of metal, it's made of plastic. So one day you might be driving along and you've got a few gears on your beetle yet, and then just suddenly, for no reason at all, your steering column starts spraying washer fluid all over you. Because the hose, the hose finally got dry and cracked, and then it broke off, and because the tank is just pressurized by the spare tire, it will just start indiscriminately spraying fluid out of the hole, no matter what you do, until you get pulled over and get under the hood, under the fucking trunk and disconnect the airline to the tire. That's so sad. Some people love this car so much, they're willing to spend stupendous amounts of money on it. But let it be said, complete piece of shit. There were cheaper car, there were cheap cars out there that weren't nearly as bad. Everyone dunks on the British cars for rusting away and being shit. But I gotta say this, at least if your British car had a washer... It actually had a pump to run it. <laughs> a hand pump. The, the Volkswagen Beetle bringing you the technology of Depression era Germany to the masses. Jesus. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so I always love that one though. It's just. What the, what the hell are you talking about? Is my spare tire full? <laughs> Which also <laughs> means. <laughs> Which also means if you wash your, uh, if you wash it too much, and then you have to swap your tire, it's flat. Yes, you you pull. As Pat said, you pull over with a flat tire, you, and, and your spare is flat too. I, I suppose I hope you have a hand pump in your in, in your trunk as well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Squeeze. Where are you at, big elephant? I got something for you. You're a mammoth boy. This is me. Which way to that uh, volcano? West. West of me or west of you? Both. Is it on that island north of the uh, Univolt and all that shit? West of that. Okay. Just try to figure out for later. I need a better spot. I know so I'm not getting enough of certain supplies and having to run out and do that instead of leveling is really annoying.
Three, two, one, drop. Or is it 50 minutes? <laughs> volcano area would you say like 30s what yeah about okay then i'm close enough that i can start doing that i need more resources like faster resource automated resource like i can't do this shit anymore where it's like go out and explore and find stuff it's like no i want it to be automatic at this point shit's annoying i'm a fucking child well what resources are you lacking like, a constant source of wood, stone, uh, palladium, and, uh, like, uh, metal, especially. Especially metal. I mean, just build wood and stone pits at your base. Yeah, I already have that, so it's kind of covered on that front. But I want somewhere, what I was saying is by, uh, by there where there's at least palladium easy to get, and then, um, or palladium. And then, uh the mine metal of some kind, like ore. I know there's more metals to deal with soon, so that's fun. Honestly, the best way to get Paldium is just put two dig toises on a stone pit and then grind stone. Where do I get a dig toys? I keep mentioning that one. I don't, I don't think I just ran into one yet. Dig, dig, dig. The desert to our northwest. Okay, so around where I was. Also, this is a good map for finding good resource spots. Oh, there's a resource thing for that? Here I was being a dumb fuck and just figuring things out on my own. Like an idiot. How's that it's just map some map a guy made of the best ore spots. Yeah, that's actually really good. Okay, that's interesting. My mining outpost is at the one that has both ore and coal. So the one orange spot just like northeast of us? Yes. Hmm. Okay. I don't need coal. I have plenty of wood for that. I wouldn't mind digging up some of that quartz. I might head over there and make a little mining base for quartz. My castle is near the one up north. I did run into it, I just dig it up. Oh, at the northwest spot? By the big mountain? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was thinking the southeast one from there it was the one I was looking at by the lake. Putting out a resource is really frustrating me. Like, I'll need to do something. And it's like, make nails. It's like, fuck. And then to do that, it's like, hey, where's your, uh, where's your metal? It's like, damn it. <laughs> Some 
getting that kind of frustration. I'm getting the Minecraft frustrations where it's like, I don't want to build things anymore. I just want to adventure and explore. Uh, <laughs> but once I get the base maxed out, it should be here soon. Life will be a lot easier. You can just move your base, right? You don't have to rebuild up the level. Yeah, the level is bound to your character. I, I don't get these next two to like level 26. Oh yeah, and uh, do you want to nap or not? Doesn't matter to me. Okay. Because the nights seem really short now, so thank you for you or Dragon, whoever set that up. That's been nice. Oh hey, my Anubis is finally uh, ready to rock and roll. That's the old guy. Seen as a symbol of nobility and I will the power. Yeah, over time, this power has become a token of death. Alright, let's check. It looks like you have some good perks too, so I don't know who you bred it with, but good job. <laughs> He probably has at least Swift. He has Runner and Workaholic, Mascus. So increase the movement speed, bonus to defense, and his sanity drops 50% lower, so that's kind of neat. You work with your miner, transporting and hand work. Oh, yeah, you're getting. You got a job. Well, Anubis has definitely replaced the Tom bats. Wait, does Anubis need sleep? Shit, he does. <laughs> wait, wait. Male or female? Oh, it's a male. I got a little boy. What? Boy Anubis. Maybe a lot of my party later on. I wish the balls weren't so fucking expensive. It's so time consuming to make. That's one of the reasons I keep having to go get more ore. <laughs> it's like, oh, you ran out of balls again because almost everything I try to catch just resists and automatically bounces the majority of them. It's like, son of a bitch, I need better balls.
feel like they should introduce an option to be like, uh, you know, just tap F, hold it for like two seconds, and then it'll automatically hold the work button for you. This shit sucks. <laughs> the only real complaint I have about this game is holding F for long periods of time gets annoying. It's like holding shift in Arma. I mean, you could always throw your Anubis at it. Why? What does Anubis do? It can craft. Oh, you mean like that. Okay. I was like, he can make things automatically happen? <laughs> here, land ball. Come here. Come here, little goofball. Mm -hmm. I like that even with the feed things, the little feed bags, your pals still stay half starved all the time. Just like at your base, everyone stays half starved all the time. Yes. It's like just fill the fuck up. <laughs> fill up, wait a while, then eat, instead of eating every five minutes. No wonder some of you guys have eating problems. <laughs> oh my god, the game knows me so well. I Why was just I wishing I could get a big chandelier, and I can indeed get one. Oh yeah, that's cool. Alright, so if I'm there, the volcano is far west. Oh, okay, it's almost direct west of my base, actually. Well, where's my bird? Come here, bird, we're gonna go scout yeah. out a spot. Anywhere you suggest, make a good volcano base. Depends on how much effort you want to put into it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm bad at effort when it comes to this sort of game, so I don't know. Gauge it. <laughs> I make the base functional. I'm not good at making it pretty. There are a few little islands in the middle of lava lakes that'd be cool for a big stone tower base. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. I like your style. I wish there was a pal that you can use as like a therapist for the others. <laughs> like when they start slacking off and having a bad time, just talk to that one. It makes everything better. They should make Love Andor do that and it just has sex with any pal that's sad. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be funny. I'm guessing there's already been Rule 34 stuff for that for a long time, because I remember seeing some like a year ago or whatever when the announcement came. So I imagine there's a lot more Love Ander art than there already was. Is that the volcano? I think I can see it from here. Huh, big tower up there. Go play with it.
I like raiding their little camps with the smokestacks coming out of them. It's wow. fun. I gotta say, for this being somewhat of a bare-bones, uh, unreal game, it's actually pretty fun. Yes. Especially, especially once you heard the team mention that they didn't know how to make a game before that. <laughs> Yeah, is there a way to trade uh, pals other than the eggs? Or is that it? Yeah, you just drop them and anyone can pick them up. I didn't know you could drop your pal. Yeah, mouse over them in your party, and you see at the bottom it says to press R to drop. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I see it. I got some more moves. So, if we invite there, let's go to the top there, and you have more north. West, but more north. <laughs> I wish there was a button to just drop to the ground as if you were out of stamina with your um, flying bows. Like, just drop. Get to the ground fast. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not trying to hold control for a year. It's more crime time, baby. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this castle got me kind of horny. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so like all the memories I'm gonna make in here. This is my fungin. <laughs> okay, do you have a fungin yet? No. I just need to make the other wing of it look just as nice and I think we'll be done. I can actually put up a fight now compared to before. Before I was getting my ass kicked constantly. That's no, actually pretty easy. Like I don't feel like my character is completely pathetic getting one tap by everything. What was that last thing you were saying? You're saying it got you excited and then I was in, in a fight so I kind of like wasn't able to pay attention fully. Okay, everyone pretty much healed up. I was just saying I only need to make the other wing of the castle look just as nice and I think I'll be done. Oh yeah, that, that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I imagine it looks really good, so. You're gonna furnish it? And waste the points on furnishing. It's already fairly furnished. <laughs> you just set up random chairs and like cabinets and shit. That's good. I have a dining hall and a guest bedroom, soon to be two. Oh yeah, what's considered quartz? Is that the pallium, or is quartz something completely different? Quartz is for circuit boards. Oh, cool. Didn't know that. <laughs> so quartz is its own thing. I really do like the voice acting for the uh, Sin Kick guys. <laughs> this is so good. Hearing them die is satisfying. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more Sin Kick fight? Oh, okay. trying to follow his soul.
Why are these, uh, Relaxosauruses so fucking aggressive? Like, it feels like their name's a complete lie. <laughs> I see fire? Okay. I'm checking it out. The falls mine shot. Wah! Damn it. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, let's see how you do. Oh, for 25. Those cat cat pals. What, what is it called again? Catris. I really like them. They're fun. Yes. And they're pretty strong too, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> they got everything for close range and long range. <laughs> Oh, so one of the people that follow me, just every time I bring up power word, he's like, but there's Ark. I'm just like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Ark sucks. Would you say this is better than Ark since you played both? It's much better. 
That was my thinking on it too. I'm like, look, Ark is just rust, but with dinosaurs. And a worse Turok. It actually runs well and isn't fucking 300 gigs for the game and all the DLC. Oh my god, seriously? Isn't it like a 17 gig game, this one? Like, isn't Palor really small? Yes. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, 300 gigs, fuck you. I get it when it's Call of Duty. It's loading those 8K textures or whatever, but not when it's something like this. Ark genuinely goes up to that much for all the DLC because nothing is compressed even a bit. <laughs> I want it available at all times. Alright, let me to the edge of the volcano. Also, the UI and sound effects in Ark are really ugly. <laughs> yeah, they look like 90s It's just games. very dated now. Yeah. Or I wouldn't say 90s games so much as like late 90s, early 2000s. UI always looks so fucking bad to me. And I don't even care about stuff like that. Not normally anyways. It's pretty bad when your game makes me give a crap about stuff like UI and the way it looks. Alright, so I made it to the edge of the volcano. <sighs> So far, it's desolate. There ain't no life here. Except for the Brotherhood Pyre dudes I'm about to fuck up. Get him, Catrus. Do all the damage, because I can't. Seven hundred XP for killing that. Unfortunately, my catress went down. Oh, there's some fucking pals. There we go. They're called pirates. Oh shit! I forgot. I need my thermal shit. Crap. What's a reptro? A reptro. Ooh, too strong for me. Oh, some of the anime I've been watching lately has been making me so hungry for food that doesn't even exist in America. <laughs> I'm just like, this is some bullshit. Like, they got these things that uh, are supposedly good with beer, so I at least try it with beer like it's supposed to. But they're like squid bits on a stick, like skewered. And then they're like covering this sauce. And I don't know, it just looked really good in the show. And I'm like, I'd try that. <laughs> it looks fucking delicious. Like, there's all sorts of foods and stuff that they show in anime where I'm just like, I want to put that in my face. I need rule 34, but just the food. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like how Quentin Tarantino always <laughs> makes food look so good. Yeah. And then you have people like Brad Pitt that doesn't know what to do with his hands when he acts, so he likes to eat in every movie he's in. My pals need a bed. There you go. Okay, maybe not. 
I wish you could just move things over. Like, beds that are already made, you should be able to move around. They're back to producing things. For some reason they weren't before. Let's be a dynamic duo or something. Oh, I got shotgun shells. Nice. I get a rare crossbow. I kept mining right next to me. I kept actually picking up the stone. As soon as I put the stone in the box, I'd walk away and pick up another one. It's like, you bastard. <laughs> Would the tropical be enough, or do you need something stronger for the volcano area? It's enough. Okay. Well, maybe. Is there a stronger tropical or heat resistant outfit? I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, you can get heat resistant pelt armor. Or the heat resistant metal. Go kill a couple things and then I'll get the heat resistant metal armor. <laughs> oh, it's literally called the Foot of the Volcano. That's cool. Hey, yeah, I'm looking forward to building that fire base. I don't know what kind of nighttime shenanigans happens here. That's what I forgot to do. Did I ever make that uh, lantern?
like the sound effects here. Night time version of a pyron. That's pretty. I don't think I could take it, but I could try. Yeah. Just two more sleeps until more free urine. <laughs> My friends are going to need talk about getting done with certain things. Maybe we're in the military and we're like, all right, only five more days and we get to go home or whatever it was. Yeah, the night is definitely in that good sweet spot, but it's enough to find nighttime animals that's what you're looking for. But short enough that if you don't want to deal with night, you don't have to sleep for it. Okay. Yeah. I know you're not gonna do well, but
Resist, resist, resist. Even when, like, you know, I get it if they're higher level, but fuck. When they're my level and they're doing it, I hate it. I almost caught you, level 37 piece of crap. Next time, I'm just gonna kill you. Every time I come back, y'all are just fucking around. Bad pals, bad. I need just like a whole team of the uh, uh, catresses. <laughs> fucking kick ass. Oh yeah, you may be able to change options on the fly. Or do you have to restart for them to take effect? Like, how does that work? Depends on the option. Okay. That's cool. Actually, it's really neat. I gotta say, for the amount of times that my shields get beat up, they actually take damage really well. Like, they definitely, uh, you know, get out of jail free card, but also they don't deteriorate like everything else seems to. Like, my armor gets killed after like two fights. <laughs> Back up to thirty two grand. How rich are you? Only 6k because I bought a fuck ton of rifle ammo. Oh, 
Luke Moon. I don't think that's any good. I kind of wish you can open up their, uh, like, details, see what their deal is when it comes to these, um, PAL, like, sellers. Because I kind of want to see, like, what's its, you know, attack and all that crap. Yes. The Gobfin looks kind of cool. Okay, so there's a dungeon here. That's good to know. I'll do that next time. Oh, I think the server's shutting. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Went to move something from one inventory to another, and I was like, huh, it ain't working. Who'd have thought it? I'm so close to being done with the exterior as well. Of your house? Yes. What are you naming the castle? don't know yet like i call my house uh camp kick ass <laughs> or you know fort kick ass you know i don't even remember where i got it i feel like that's from like uh oh what the fuck was that show or it was no it was a movie this probably Addressing me because your authority is not recognized in Fort Kickass. You know what? Probably a mixture of that and uh, what the fuck was it? I'm trying to find this movie. Had a uh, fucking Ant Man in it. The kid from uh, Pineapple Express. Or no, was it Pineapple Express? McLovin, whoever McLovin was. Super bad. Yeah, super bad, that was it. Okay, super bad. Just for mints. Movies. You know, he's really been in like every good movie. <laughs> Every time I look at his movie list, like, he does really good stuff. That boy never misses. The one about the, uh... Fuck. The 
but they were doing a uh, live action, so they were LARPing. One step brothers. He's in tag? I didn't know he was in tag. Role models, that was it. Fucking role models. I could be wrong, but I'm pr it probably is Archer. But I always thought it was from role models for some reason when they were LARPing and they were holding the fort. This fort kick ass. <laughs> mm. But I guarantee you, it probably is just Krieger. It always just Krieger. Okay, who needs food? I need food. <laughs> I wish there was something to heal yourself, though. A pedalia can. What is that? Is that a Pedalia. Is that a pal? Yes. Okay. I was like, what is it? <laughs> There's a boss version of one south of Pat's base. Maybe. Maybe. Its special move heals you for 400 HP. Oh, damn. That's like a quarter of my health. <laughs> That's pretty good if I'm just running in circles, like kiting bosses. What? What are you doing up there, little friend? Help! There we go. I wish my little, uh, Dixie would find, uh, better balls. It's still just finding the basic fish pals for yours. Talk about depressing. If you condense them up to level 4, it'll start finding Mega Balls. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was going to build Super Soldier Chamber. Some more ingots. And plate. Just two more towers to go and I gotta figure something out with the middle part and I think the exterior is done. The middle part being like where you put your banner? Or something else? The castle is divided into two wings, each at a different level. Okay, so which one's for the poor people? <laughs> The south wing. <laughs> oh no. That's where I'm gonna be. <laughs> okay. Why aren't you all getting stuck on each other? What the fuck is your problem? Mm. Fucking figure it out. Let's 
super soldier chamber. I just need three iron. Or not iron. That's... Into this thing's the front. <laughs> I think that's fine. Oh, can you fast travel from one base to the other? Like if you set up a second power box? Yes. Ooh, that's gonna make moving so fast. <laughs> I have ideas. <laughs> And I wish this was how you built super advanced tech in real life. You just hit it with a hammer until it works. <laughs> Straight slap in this thing, and it's just getting built. <laughs> this should work like that in real life. takes forever. Oh shit, you said Anubis is good at building things. Yo Anubis, where you at? Okay, seriously, where the fuck is he? Holy shit, he built this so fast. Oh my god. He just did three minutes of work and like 10 seconds, not even. What the fuck? Can you condense syndicate thugs together? <laughs> Oh, that'd be brutal. Wow, you weren't kidding about Anubis being fast, though. Even though all he has is the runner perk, like, 
He's just fucking guns it whenever he sprints. <laughs> Looks like fucking Naruto running almost. He is. <laughs> Aw, he's a nerd. <laughs> How cute. Help me get pallium. Anubis, need you again. Oh my god, he's so fast! Just killing these Gigaspheres. Ah, oh, he got hungry. Let's see how fast he can run back here, though. Get that food before you go to bed. Hurry up. Come build. Makes like one every two seconds. Good job, Anubis. You fucking rock. Help.
my god. I finally saw the cross-eyed picture that 3D sent me. Did you see it yet, Cortana? No. So we're gonna forward this. So this is a dude that apparently was in charge of a fund as you you know, basically holds on to your money and probably doing illegal shit with it. I'll send it to you on Discord. <laughs> I wouldn't trust that man. That is unfortunate. <laughs> that too. <laughs> he is very unfortunate looking. But I also wouldn't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little guy. <laughs> it looks like he's just permanently doing the dir face. Just cause. Like the one we always made when we were kids. Damn, this hip hip lantern's awesome. Oh. So much better than I have to carry around fire. Fire is slightly brighter though. Look at that. No, no, no. Yeah. Get him while he's not looking. Motherfucker, you can't move. <laughs> Damn, that shield saves your life. Attacks are going through the walls. <laughs>
kill it. Oh, I fucking killed it! <laughs> I got level 25. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked. Should just let me catch you, stupid. Alright, hit level 25. Handgun, heat resistant armor, silo for all my tortillas. That looks like a giant dick, to be honest. <laughs> Did my uh, hip lantern stop working? Is it gone? Wait, do you use up a hip lantern like every night or something? It turns off during the day. I don't even see it on my hip. That damn pal blew it off my body. Yeah, it's not where it was earlier. That's weird. Alright, time to go heal all my pals. <laughs> I think we're gonna go catch more of the catresses. <laughs> They're so strong. Just make a whole party of them for now. Actually, wait, are they affected by the fire over there? Like the warm temperatures? Or is it only no. the player? Okay. I like that it's only the player that gets fucked up. There's something real nice about that. All right, the exterior of the castle is officially done. Metal. Nice. Mm -hmm. And the next couple days, I'll probably be able to come and visit. Or by Tuesday next week, I should say. The ring gets again. Fucking fun. <laughs> I'd love to share screenshots, but I must keep it as a pilgrimage to see it. Oh no, it's fine. You can take screenshots now so I can look at them later and be like, oh, that is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you'll probably see angles and stuff that I'm not really noticing and vice versa. Oh, we got a new Nightwing. Ain't that lovely. The base building is very basic in this game, but I think this looks pretty great regardless. Yeah. Like, I like how simple it is. I don't have to try super hard. That makes me happy. But I know you guys like your complicated buildings. Not where I'm like, one wall, one floor, and a ceiling. It's all I need. Put a bed in there and call it a day. <laughs> like, the only reason I built up my house is because I was like, y'all kind of have really nice houses, and I want to be like that. <laughs> But then I realized how annoying it is to make it pretty. So yeah, I can safely say I now have the most impressive base on the server. <laughs> yeah.
I won't be that hard to get here. You just need a flying mount that doesn't suck dick and cold resistant gear. <laughs> what if my mount's gay? Like, you really gonna fault him for that? <laughs> what if it's a woman? <laughs> Maybe your biggest is the problem, not my man. <laughs> you can go by land all the way to the northwest of that desert to that island, and then it's like a straight shot north from the northernmost fast travel there. You mean where the coal is? On the map? That desert? What do you mean the desert there at the north? Yeah, the coal desert. Okay. And you said just head north almost directly to that marker where it says quartz? To the west of that marker and further north, but yes. Okay, it's so the northwest of it. Alright, cool. I could probably do that by next week. Just because work. Man, I miss being a pro gamer where all I had to do was play video games all day. That shit was fun. Like, if I didn't have bills, that's what I'd be doing right now. What? Without a job, back to streaming, like, you know, daily. Yeah. Is there a way to see the building health of something? Because these logs are smoking a little bit. Yeah, just looking at it. No, it's not doing it for the walls. Well, it'll probably be fine. <laughs> so I'll just have to rebuild the bridge tomorrow. In my bedroom. Here, let me move my bed. Do you ever get a better bed, or is it always the shoddy bed? Yes. So I've been looking at this one, I'm just like, you yeah. know, as much as I don't care, I kind of want a nicer looking bed. <laughs> this thing looks like shit. <laughs> It'd be funny if there was like a cryopod bed to jump in, and then when everyone sleeps, you end up with perfect rest every time, even though it's like one second. <laughs> God, that guy's definitely over 40. Every time I hear him lay down, he's like, Ugh. and when he gets up, he's like, Ugh. <laughs> it's like fucking Rocky. So hopefully by the end of tomorrow I'll have all the furnishing done, and then it's just setting up all the PAL stuff and I can move. How dare my slaves need beds? <laughs> oh, that's what I was
I don't have to worry about half my base disappearing tomorrow like I did today. Fucking logged in back into my base is gone. points in stamina, like up to 200, and then I don't even know if I need that much. Depends on how sucky it is in mine plays. Oh yeah, I don't remember if I asked yesterday. Does your pals boxes link to each other as far as uh, your supplies go? Like you're on a separate place? No. Okay. Damn. It would be nice to have a little network going. <laughs> My my hip lip my hip lantern's still gone. It's weird. Just one is enough to find your way in the dark. So it doesn't say anything about it vanishing. So maybe it's just a glitch. It just disappeared in my body because I died or something. Mm. It is really weird to think how far we've come in gaming that this is kind of like a normal game. Think about lighting and stuff. How, you know, inside the building it's not as bright as it is outside, it's properly cast shadows. 
Then you look at PS1 games, it's all like one light, light amount <laughs> from invisible lights. What happens when you condense them? They just get an extra star and then what happens? Their stats and such go up. She would give you suggestions. You know what I mean? Like, hey, this one has enough. And this one has enough. Use that. to do the next one? Damn, all right. Yeah, level two is brutal. That means you had to catch how many? What were you trying to max out again? The land ball or something? Or was it a chicken? The chicken. Oh my god. How many chickens did you have to catch then? Like fifty. Like over a hundred. Oh that is some real go fuck yourself territory game. <laughs> If you put ones with multiple stars already into one of the stars, I'm not sure. Oh. I bet you can't reverse the process too. Damn, Anubis is fast. I need more of you. I just want a whole base of Anubis. <laughs> They're so quick. So good. I need that. Lots of that. Almost had a fucking heart attack. Try to rebuild my pal box to make it face a different direction, and it wouldn't let me put it down. Oh my god. Why? What? What, what did you think was happening? Like that? It Apparently, it something. needs a two by two clear opening to the sky in order to place it. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about in your new base. You were trying to turn it. Yeah. Oh my god, it, I, did, I thought if you did that, it would break the whole thing. But that's what happened when I... No, uh, only production things. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I packed up my base the other day, it, I thought it destroyed everything. So now I gotta patch a little hole up and rebuild some walls, but it's fine now. No, that's not so bad, yeah.
doing good, guys. Keep up the hard work. Six thousand fiber. Okay, good. Good to know. Do this. Want you? What? I hate when they get stuck mining shit. You're not able to fuck. Anymore, like you can't grab him. Yes, mess up my list. Up here, you little fucking bastard. You're so fucking fast. I hope you get hungry soon, you fuck. Yeah, whenever they're stuck on a task, the trick ones, you can't mess with them. I don't like that. So whatever they thought they fixed her uh, this morning with that patch, I think they broke some things. Probably. You Anubis. Keep trying to grab you to there we go. Haha! -ha! Fucker. You can only build my gun. Shoot fast enough. Did you really fall asleep, you piece of shit? <laughs> I fucking hate him so much. You lazy shit. As soon as he wakes up, he'll work on it, so that's good. <laughs> what an asshole. Oh, 
plants. Where do you get beautiful flowers from? I've never found them. Certain pals drop them or you can pick them from the sanctuaries. Oh, where the fuck are the sanctuaries? Wait, I need bone? Come on. They're the weird alien looking islands off at the edges of the map. Oh, fun. There's one directly south of you. Yeah, I was just looking at that. Uh, I suppose I can do that. Alright, let me find my, my team. Alright though, now that I've survived my mini heart attack, I think I'll finally go to bed. <laughs> Alright. Have a good night. I'm gonna go catch me some more catresses. I will need to restart the server real quick though to apply a setting I changed. Uh, what is it gonna change? Anything good? Also Literally one wall line of my base is outside the circle so I'm turning off base deterioration. Oh, that'd be nice. Just let me uh, put away my pals real quick. Here this helps. And also you have that bridge of yours that's going outside your circle so this should help that too. Yeah. Alright. I am... I logged out. <laughs> I restarted it. It should already be back, honestly. I didn't know how fast it, you were going to do it. Like, I didn't know if you were finishing up something. I do like how fast Yeah, I know, I just mean the time it took me to type that is probably how long it took to restart. Yeah, that's what I mean, that's kind of great. <sighs> yep, it's up. It's so fast. I do like this server. Like I said, the one that uh, Pat bought originally, it was good. It was pretty quick. But damn, I'm surprised how fast this one restarts and everything. It's yes. Like nothing really happens, it's like a what? blink. Gotcha. You think you're so fast, Anubis. Well, you're gonna work on my fucking gun. Yeah. Yeah, look how fast that is. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so quick. Good job, buddy. Now you can dig all the rocks you want. I don't know why you're so obsessed with it.
That only holds six shots. <sighs> the single shot rifle is pretty great. The musket? No. Oh. <laughs> the lever action later. Oh, okay. Definitely have to pick it up. Yeah, I want to know how to reset my character. Like, I have so many plans for how I want to do it. Yep. There you go, lad. Go have fun. Alright, I got my pistol, got my team. Gotta wait till night to get the catresses. Not too long for now, so that's good. Oh shit, my breeding was a success. In a good way? Like, what do you mean? You're super Anubis or something? No, my really fast flying mount. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. Alright, so. How to do? Also, I will take one. <laughs> if, you're, if you need uh, some more ore, I will happily steal from the rich and give to the poor. Or steal from the rich and give to the other rich. Whatever works. I honestly could give one. I'll figure out a price later. <laughs> okay. I'll come demonstrate though, so you can see if you even want it. Um, if it's faster than the one I already have, yes. Because <gasps> this thing does go slow sometimes, so I'm just like, why? Why are you so slow? Yep. I'm so mad that I had to waste all yesterday just rebuilding my base and shit because it was all fucked up. Oh, and hello. My are broken. Yeah, see how slow this is? So, alright. Go ahead. So this is just walking without sprinting or flying. Oh my god. This is me sprinting. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, let me try flying. And this is sprinting and flying. Yeah, you're way faster than me. You're like 200% faster than me. Oh my god, you're already gone. Like, I literally ran out of stamina as I got to my house. <laughs> like, I'll stop right here where I fell. And you can come check it out. Like, that is a success. I will definitely take one. <laughs> I got close to running out on the cliff on the north end of the church. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. You made it all the way over there. That's so far. I made it like, I don't know, 50 feet, 100 feet? I made it to the edge of my circle, basically. Yeah, that's where I ended up. Dog shit. <laughs> Damn, you can go far. And then you just ran out right there. Yeah, that's huge. I got from the edge of the church cliff to this bridge, yeah. Ooh, this has better range than my fucking crossbow. Go pistol, you're fucking awesome. And it's accurate as hell. Just sitting here tagging these fucking syndicate dudes as they try to come up here. Get fucked. Anyways, yeah, 100%. I will definitely take one when you get to the next one. Like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Honestly, what I might request is a fuckload of wheat because that's my biggest bottleneck for breeding right now. Uh, I have a bunch. To stop making bread. Oh, that one 
he's getting a frowny face. How much is a bunch? Uh, let's see. Right now, only a 500, but I definitely had more before. Five hundred wheat or flour. Wheat. Do you need flour? See how much flour it doesn't is. matter. Okay, yeah. I can give you five hundred for uh, wheat right now, and then my flour is at seventy-two, about to be made. I mean, shit, that'd be fine, honestly. That'd help a lot. Uh, I can give you both. I don't. I don't use the wheat for anything at the moment. Weeds like nothing. Let me see how much this stack weigh. Ten pounds. No, hundred and two pounds. But yeah. And then the flowers are just done. Once the water assholes actually do what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Five hundred wheat is thirty-three cakes. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm about to have seventy-two flour. You can have. I've been just trying to get the flour because I'm bored, and it gives XP when you know something is made. So, where you at? Where you at? What? How am I supposed to throw this at you? Mm. Mm. I feel like you're on the other side of the planet. <laughs> I'm in my house. Oh, okay. Right, for now, I'll put it back in there. Let me know when you're picking it up. Yeah, the flower will be done in about three minutes. Give or take. It's doing about one every two seconds. And then you just need to pack it all somewhere cool, which I'm sure you know. Okay, so I don't have one with the attack damage bonus like mine has, it has a work speed bonus instead. Yeah, but who does that benefit? Because I don't think I've ever seen one of the flying types work. <laughs> I don't know. As long as it's fast, I don't it's mind using it. It's a fire type, speed. so you can use it to smelt ingots. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, I'll definitely take that. I'm always making ingots. Fuck yeah. What the fuck does my bird do? Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> He's nothing. He does nothing with the amount. Got a little bit of increased uh, light, increase some lightning attack damage. I will say though, it'll be a bit until you can get a saddle for this. Oh yeah, yeah. But just having it's already a benefit. Let me go and get rid of the other fire type I keep here, the ruby. Just put her back in the box. Have fun in the forever box. Good. Yeah, it's level 38 for a saddle for this, but it'll be useful for work until then at least. Oh yeah, and I'll, I'll get there probably tomorrow. So I already hit 25 from, I think, 18 today. And that was barely any grinding. It was mostly fixing things and making sure I had supplies for things. Yeah, when you come back, I'll get you the things. I am here. Sweet. And... 40 out of 72 flour because he's being a little jerk to have to eat. Like, how, how the fuck dare he have to eat? Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. Drop. <laughs> I did. Capture success. Pleasing sense. All right, let me, let me sh take a look at him. Why aren't you working on the flour? <laughs> King, it's one job. The lady wants her flower. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Last slot. Yeah. Let's just 
got runner swift serious and heated body Twenty percent work speed. Movement speed. Movement speed. So it's got a fifty percent boost on movement speed. Damn. And then yeah, I'll just need the saddle later. But yeah, that's freaking awesome. I'm gonna compare him to this little guy. It's funny. My little crappy bird has more attack, apparently. <laughs> yeah, let me double check his stats. Oh, he's got a level 3 on the... Uh moving ship and the uh, uh, smelting. You coming back for the flower or am I holding on to it for now? Yeah, I'll come in a second. I need to move my fridge somewhere this idiot doesn't lose tracking to it. Yeah, <laughs> I've noticed that with a lot of things. I've had to start moving things around to make it easier on them because they're just dumb. It's not it's not the palace fault that pathing's bad. It's that there's rocks on the ground and trees and stuff. Hey, do you want me to give you? I stand to the mm. What does it mean he can't be assigned to it anymore? Oh, he's on the short break. Okay. <laughs> Glitched him out, so now he's doing the moonwalk. Signing to the berry plantation of Kootball. <sighs> I wish I can help work with this stuff, but it's all the things where you need a pal specifically to work on it. And they're so stupid sometimes. <laughs> My mother was a hamster. My father smelled of elderberries.
think I need to take the Anubis out and level him up a little bit. It'd be a lot more helpful. Yeah, I've been looking for somewhere to put the, all this flower in wheat that I've been growing because I'm like, I, I don't know what to do with it at this point. <laughs> and then storing it in the cooler was kind of useless because then it gets rid of one of my pounds that would be useful. I only need two more levels before I max out the amount of pounds I can have, so. Close. We're close. Yeah, it's very useful for me. Yeah, it's just been rotting in my like little boxes, <laughs> so I've been eating something. I kept trying to find something that wasn't food related that would be useful for flour or um, wheat, so I wasn't just wasting it. Alright, your flour should be done in... I can't really finish Just let me know when you're back. Check party. Down. Party with us. We'll look up. How do you get gunpowder other than buying it? What? Sulfur and coal. And then put it where? I don't have anything I don't think to say that. Just one of the crafting things. Just the weapon table or the production line or weapon production line. Tons of things. I'm looking at the weapon table and it's not showing it to me, which is weird. Odd. I am here. Oh, okay. <gasps> yep. I will be able to make many pals fuck with this. <laughs> it's an aphrodisiac. Cake. Who would have thought? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, there's a different handgun with handgun ammo. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, the single shot rifle. There it is. It looks like an AR in the picture. <laughs> what level did you say the saddle was? I'm not seeing it for some reason. Or I'm blind. 38. 38. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still showing unknown for some reason. I think that would be visible. <laughs> Alright, I think my next base I might have you help me lay it out nice and comfy. Does it say you've caught one in your pal deck? Uh, uh where would you see that? I'm looking at him. Oh, capture bonus. Zero to one out of ten. Okay, so I need capture one for it to pop up. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. What I can do is give you an egg and you hatch that. Oh, okay, yeah. Got an extra. Yeah, exactly. Like Let's sleep yeah. so I can get help cooking this cake. Okay. Hmm. I'm down. Oh, and it looks like my uh, hip hip uh, lantern's working. It's just invisible, so that's fun. <laughs> Though what I'll do is just put a cake in my breeding farm, and you can maybe come check later and see if you can grab it. Uh, no, if it's in any of your stuff, it doesn't work. Like, if it's anything attached to your, uh, machines or anything, it doesn't let me pick it, any of it up. Your eggs work, though. Let me see. At least it works for Anubis, I'm not sure. Yeah, I counted as one capture. Well, it just spawns as an egg on the ground, so maybe you can. Oh, maybe. Where'd you say that's gonna be? <laughs> Way up north? In my breeding farm. Yeah, where's that? I feel like we should grab this map with all the ores. It's the big pen with an egg on it. Yeah, no, I meant like where's that base? Is it your house that's to my north or somewhere else? Nothing useful is at my castle yet. It's okay, the so one you know be... about. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, you, you can do that, as long as the pals don't pick up the eggs. They don't. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look, see if it works. Port back. Pistol gameplay feels great compared to the fucking crossbow. The crossbow felt like butt cheeks sometimes. Like you'd be just out of range and you see the uh, arrow hit them, but it wouldn't do any damage. It's like, damn it. You know me, I like them back shots. Yeah.
need something close for my level to kill. Oh yeah, there's sulfur down here and stuff. Here's some things I can kill. Yep. Kill him. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. oh damn, you just got like five levels off that. Good job, Anubis. All right, now I go to bed for real. <laughs> Yeah. 
Thank you all for coming out. Hope you had a wonderful evening. Oh, man. I am kind of tired. Like, today was kind of exhausting in this game, trying to get everything done. But yeah, that got Anubis a bunch of levels. <laughs> he went from level 9 to 14 immediately. Then immediately up to 16. Yeah, we'll see. Where's he at? Yes, level 16. <laughs> Fucking monster. Uh, all right. But yeah, that's going to be for me today. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. It's been beard. It's going to say later, but actually, one second. I forgot to do dad advice for today. Dad advice for today. You are allowed to be happy even when people around you are not. And for today's shenanigans, if you say oopsie poopsie in a really cute oo woo voice, you can't be charged for crimes. We've all heard that report, you know charged with oopsie daisy it is similar vein just worse <laughs> have a wonderful evening it's been beard later